I'm Elizabeth Baer and I write science fiction and fantasy. I will be playing the very awesome ninja. My name is James Cambius. I'm a science fiction writer and game designer. I'm going to be running a cleric of the sun goddess. Hi, I'm Max Gladstone. I write the craft sequence of post-industrial fantasy novels. So my character is Lyrianne. She's a gunslinger, which means she shoots things with pistols. I'm Brian Stavely. I write epic fantasy. Uh, my character, she's a barbarian, uh, but she doesn't want to be a barbarian. She wants to be a musician. She wants to be a bard. So she spends a lot of time lifting weights so she can do the, uh, the heavy fighting. But she also spends a lot of time practicing her singing, which is not so good, but coming along. To explain the general concept, uh, we'll be playing Pathfinder tonight, a role-playing game published about a little over 10 years ago by Paizo, who, to our publishing, will be taking over the publishing rights to the Pathfinder Tales novels, uh, which is why this whole big sort of collaboration exists. Uh, so, in the world of Pathfinder, there is a organization known as the Pathfinder Society. They are a group of explorers who come together to work for uh, the Pathfinder Society to explore tombs and acquire relics of the past and keep them and acquire them for safe study, of course. That's the society's goal. But each individual member has their own reasons. Some may be in it for the money, which explorers do get paid very well for risking their lives to plumb these tombs. Some may be in it for resources. Uh, an aspiring wizard could join the Pathfinder Society and to pick the minds of every other wizard that comes through there and enhance his own knowledge. And others are just in it because they have prison sentences that they've like commuted and the Pathfinder Society kind of wrote off on <laughs> paperwork. So, today we'll be playing an adventure. Um, and unlike most adventures where it's kind of I say how the story goes, uh -oh. We have lots of resources here today, four of which are sitting right here at this table with me, that I'd like to, and Paizo, would like to uh, make use of. So they sent along this, the plot twist cards. Hmm. Each of you will receive one of these. So let's go ahead and get those all dealt out. Go ahead and choose one. While you're, while you're dealing, can um, I get the character names again, Jim? Kyra. How do you spell that? How do you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Pick a card, any card. <laughs> Brian, what's your name? Amiri, A-M-I-R-I. A-M-I-R-I? Yep. Okay. And Max? Lurian. L-I-R. L-I-R-I-A-N-N-E. Okay, and I am Reiko, R-E-I-V-O. -E Not kind of massage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, these You know, I'm a first level ninja, I still need a day job. <laughs> <laughs> so these path, uh, plot twist cards um, have two sections to them. First is a very nice picture. Uh, and then the card title. In the black here, there's two ways, or this card essentially has two ways that you can affect the story. The one, the part in the black here affects the mechanics. Uh, the hardcore stats and numbers affectation. So when you play your card, you can either choose to affect the crunch. So like in this case, if I play bad news, you can just tell me what happens to give in this case, the target and minus four penalty on any roll. Um, you can go ahead and play that at any time. And some of these make sense to be used on yourself. Some of these make sense to be used on enemies or anybody that you just so happen to use it on. Uh, the bottom part of the card contains some more fluffy suggestions. Those are just kind of ways that you can influence the story, should you so choose. Um, for those, what you'll do is you'll kind of hold up your card and give me a but wait, or something like that, and go ahead and make a suggestion for the way the plot moves. I, as the Game Master, do have final say in 
kind of tweaking it to fit the story, just so we don't go into Cthulhu mythos immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take an hour first. <laughs> They're in the bestiary. <laughs> <laughs> but we can uh, use your suggestion to help mold the story as we go. <laughs> on her person. Um, the Wayfinder is like a kind of hand-shaped, hand-sized compass, and that is the official symbol of the Pathfinder Society. It's like your membership badge. It makes you an official member. That's kind of how people recognize a member of the Pathfinder Society from just any old person with a sword and who just wanders into some tomb. Now I'm assuming that all of us have our Wayfinder. Yeah, all of you do. I'm not some murder hobo. I've got a compass. <laughs> <laughs> I have a murder You're hobo who knows where she's going. <laughs> you can still be a murder Do we recognize any of this stuff? The undergarments? Yeah, it seems to be some of yours. It seems to be some of yours. I take back my undergarments. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those are yours. <laughs> just, just the ones that are mine. What about the ones on your head? Um, those seem to belong to... Uh, <laughs> Long to you, a little Miss Ninja lady, and they they're are black. That's yes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. Oh, you're sitting on the goblin. Yeah, I'm sitting on the goblin. I was gonna go stand on the goblin. You can do that too. <laughs> sure, sure. I, 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 I There's no problem. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you reclaim your undergarments? Uh, sure. I, I yes. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to sort them out. Really, really. Yes. Yes. Are we the only people staying here currently? Um, so there's like four lodges in the back of the Pathfinder Society, but you're the only person in this particular. Okay. The clutch, I, the I'd like to say, ones will go in I'd like to say, Goblin, <laughs> what are you doing? I will approach the creature diplomatically, which is to say I'm going to make a skill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing on her throat. <laughs> You don't know, but this barbarian has a terrible temper, and if, if you don't talk to us, I, I can't tell you what she's likely to get up to. Uh, I've seen her cut ogres into into you know, slices and chops <laughs> just for uh, not being properly respectful. I, cool. I, bounce, I bounce a little bit. I want to see. Oh my god. Well, I <laughs> see she would be cutting you up. Oh, no, I don't want to see. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I mean, um, I don't, I don't speak your language. So, talking to me is useless. <laughs> Alright, we need to figure out what the yeah. goblin is up to. Uh, well, how do you want to handle it? Is there a well on the premises? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, we get to the other end of the rope. Uh, Tied to the goblin's ankle. Um, and I lower the goblin down the well. Okay, 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 okay! Oh wow, I happen to just learn the common tongue instantly. <laughs> it's a magic wow. well. Yeah. It's, it's a miracle! I'm about to start charging admission to this here magic well. Now why were you getting, getting all of our undergarments? Oh, well, it's not for the undergarments. They were just really... I don't know, why was Personal? there... Personal? Why was there lace and stuff on the outside? <laughs> <laughs> Those were yours. No. <laughs> Strictly a plain black cotton. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your way? I dumped the goblin into the water. <laughs> Does this happen to be your wayfinder? Uh, no, I need that. Give that back. Dunk. <laughs> what do you need it for? Stuff. Dunk. <laughs> Where did you get it? Over there. She lying? She, she points to another business. Sense motive. Go ahead, roll me a sense motive check. You can all roll a sense motive if you like. Sure. Uh, roll a d20. <laughs> oh, yeah. A whole 10. All right. I'm going to hand her a sense. 18. Very nice. Yeah, she does seem to be knowing that she got it from so, another lodge building on the other side of the manor house. <laughs> Why were you stole it? No, you can't prove it. Oh wait, that <coughs> did prove. From look over there. It's clearly stolen. <laughs> Don't <Dumb, okay. laughs> <laughs> You know we need to drink this water. Not this water. 
this is the well for the house. We will eventually be drinking this water and bathing in it. I do not call me fastidious. I'm really not into drinking. All right, well, we can, you can boil it first. Fire it. <laughs> <laughs> or we can draw some water. Fire may purify everything, but I bet I'll still be able to taste the goblin spit. That's just in your mind. That's just your mind messing with you. Did you just acquire an accent? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See, the well really is magical. <laughs> <laughs> so, Goblin, what's oh, your name? Uh, name's Eki. Eki? Mm -hmm. Is it really Eki? Yes. <laughs> what's your name? Eki. <laughs> <laughs> Who sent you? Um. Taking too long, dunk. <laughs> Listen, I really need it. I really, really need it. For what? Really need what? If you can explain why you need it, we might let you keep it. Oh, it's true. You might. Might. If we believe you. If we believe you, and if it's a good reason. Because I need to turn it in. Ah. To whom? The big boss lady. And her name is? I don't know. I can't meet the big boss lady because I haven't turned in that thing yet. Where do you turn it in? In the place. What's the oh. place? The place where we meet. Where's that? Like over there. You want to come, you want to show us? Why don't we take you? Her. I am a lady! <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to tell. <laughs> Misgendering the goblins. <laughs> Probably reproduced by spores or something, anyway. <laughs> not this one. I'm not sure I want to take the goblin anywhere. I'd rather just cut the rope and leave the goblin in the well. And you're wearing a bikini outside. Dunk. Dunk. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> she does have a point. We do need to. And you're that wearing one. our underwear. Not anymore. <laughs> I don't think I ever got my panties back. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the well somewhere. <laughs> that explains your concerns about hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they were clean. Okay, all right. Why don't we help you? Ninja laundry day is Monday. <laughs> why don't we help this goblin by taking her and the device to where they need to go? We'll accompany you. We'll protect you. Oh, I don't need protection, but you can't join the gang because only one of us can get in when we turn one of those in, and I have to turn it in so I can join. How come only one of you can get in? Because, um, because when I turn that in, they say the person who takes one of these and turns it in gets to be in the gang, and we only have one spot. What gang? Oh, um, they're called the Knight. Knight. I don't know what it's called, but I want to join. Night, night something somethings. <laughs> I'm holding the rope here. Yeah. You can request that I'm gonna request that I do the dunking. All right. <laughs> we just, <laughs> okay. we just okay. have a dunk hand signal. Yeah. Right now, it's kind of like a Pavlov's dog. So yeah, yeah, exactly. When someone says dunk, she's like, <laughs> dunk. <laughs> even if she's not in the water. Right. Right. And if we come with you, then we can attend your. your Gang initiation ceremony and applaud when you're made a full member. But we don't like you, long leg people. Well, look, I'll give you one pair of lacy panties <laughs> if you take us to this place. One pair only. And yes, they were mine. Fine, fine. <laughs> we can't all be practical ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You, you need something between your skin and the chainmail bikini. You really <laughs> That's do. Right. <laughs> You can have the pink ones. You can have the pink ones. I'm not giving out the red ones. <laughs> pink is like red. Yeah, it's like red. It's very similar. The red ones will be. It's like red. And, after and, and you know what? After, after I open a vein, one of yours, they will be red. Yes. <laughs> what? Hey, that's rude. Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> the barbarian is getting impatient. <laughs> Look. Panties and no drowning, or no panties and drowning? Mm -hmm. These are your options right yeah. now. I will take the panties, thank you very much. And the no drowning? <laughs> yes, very much, thank you. I haul the, the goblin out of the water. Reluctantly. <laughs> and I 
hand over the pink lacy panties. Thank you. You're welcome. Now please introduce us to your friends. I don't know if there was a Mary. Yeah. You're a Mary. I'm Eki. Eki. E K K I. I don't know if I really want to introduce you. Well, well, I, I throw the goblin. We can make our own introductions. Sink or swim, goblin. All right, fine. But if we're going, and I have to show you around, means I'm going to Absolutely. Fine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow, that was really easy. OK, come on. As she takes you outside of the manor house, all the people in Magnamar are giving you that uh, sort of stare. As a goblin is generally pariah in town, as they tend to be very vicious and burn things down. Don't worry, she's clicker trained. <laughs> and they're looking at you, walking, walking around with a goblin in open streets, and she marches you straight out of town, talking the entire way. So, pajama lady, why do you wear pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> They're very comfortable. I think in the future everyone will be wearing them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bikini lady, why do you wear a bikini? It's not very comfortable, but you make sacrifices for fashion. <laughs> <laughs> One must suffer. Very nice. Where'd the accent go? <laughs> Walk away from the well. Back in the well. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to break out the yeah. non-brand specific cheese dust covered objects. Keep them down, keep them down. <laughs> we need a piece of paper or something to put these on. Does, the, does the goblin have hair? No, not really. Anybody willing to sacrifice? I'm just going to hold the goblin by the leg the and just do curls while we walk. Because okay. okay. you got to be training if you're a barbarian. You, gotta, you can't just slack out. So, just doing curls. All right. right arm, with the right arm now. All right. Goblin curls? Goblin curls. She's going to try to like rearrange herself so she's like sitting like on your hand so it's like an a amusement park ride. <laughs> Shoulder flies. <laughs> <in the goblin. laughs> It's over there, next to the horse okay. meat taking yeah, place. I'm next to the what? Horse meat taking place. Horse meat taking place. You never heard of a horse meat taking place? I think she means the stables. Mm. Or, or the stable, stable or the butcher shop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Switch yeah. arms, other arm. Let's go over there. Go over to the stables. Where she marches you outside of town. It's the orange dust covered object train. She marches you out of town. You, you can, can see that, away from me. <laughs> you can see that she's pointing towards a very sad-looking farm. Where there are several old horses just kind of marching about. And they're pretty old and getting on in age, or very sick. And up in the ahead of you, you can see a sign. From what you can see, it seems to be the name of the place, but it's quite old and faded. And uh, Eki seems to be trying her hardest to get away from you. Yes. Wait, 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 wait! Stop, 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 stop! Let me go. Oh, let me go. Let me go. Wait, 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 wait! Stop, wrong, wait, stop, 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 stop! What's wrong? I have to help you. Tell me more. Let me go. <laughs> oh, tell me more, and then I'll let you go. Close your eyes and let me go. No, we can't let you go. You're our leader. We would be yeah. lost without you. That's why I'm helping you. Let me fix the trap. Oh. Okay, I put the goblin down. Thank you. You're Sheesh! Welcome. Respect your leader. <laughs> he was lifting you up. And she runs forward to the sign and stands in front of it, tries her best to cover the sign. All right, let's go. Hurry, go. Quick. We hurry. We hurry, we go. As you get over there, you can kind of make out the Markings of the Mariska Knackery. Basically where old horses are put down. Knackered. Yes, knackered. And you kind of realize that she's a typical goblin. Goblins tend to think that reading words steals words from your head. And she was just trying to help you out so you wouldn't look at things and get the words stolen from you. 
She's that kind of caring leader. That is very caring. Looking out for us. Uh, now that we've gotten past that danger, no more picking up time. And when I say put me down, put me down. We'll see. <laughs> Can we have a talk in my office? <laughs> Take us where we're going, Goblin. Uh, that's that's icky. Uh, that's that's not really a TV attitude. <laughs> I go over and try and lift oh, one of the horses. <laughs> barbarian. <laughs> the barbarian. The The barbarian is going to wind up in a in a uh, cultural sensitivity class before this night is over. <laughs> I'm over lifting the horse, blowing off some steam. Yeah, there's some really old sick horse that's like, uh. What? Yeah. Why, 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 why you do this to me? You guys carry on, I just gotta do this. I can't be around after this. She's, she's really embarrassing. Is there anybody else? <laughs> Not really. You can see that, I mean, this is a knackery, so there's probably somebody here actually working the farm and like putting the horses out of their misery and whatnot. But yes, they're not out at this hour. If I was an ambush, where would I be? <laughs> In the bushes? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Is there anybody in the bushes? No. Okay. Where's Eki going? Uh, she's taking you around the back of the barn. Cool. I would like to make a perception check mm -hmm. at this juncture. I don't know what I'm attempting to perceive, but just looking for anything. Uh, I'm yeah, right my 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 eyes are peeled. Oh, there we go. That's so better. Fifteen. Very nice. With your eyes and ears peeled, you can kind of see that Eki is. Slowly moving towards a downed horse out in the, uh, in the middle of the field. Is this a dead horse? It appears to be, or at least very sick and unable to stand. I'm not making the joke. I'm not making the joke. <laughs> 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 Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> You'll be making that joke sooner or later. <laughs> we might as well start now. Not yet. All right, following the gallop. And as she gets closer to the horse, she turns around and... Keeping a bead on the gallop. She pulls out a little dagger. Walks up to the obviously, at this point, dead horse. Pulls some skin. Cuts a bit of meat off. Puts it in her pocket. And runs back. It didn't even wake up. Great. All right, let's go to the meeting place. Lunch? No. How are you? Skin still on it. It's all good. Skin's yeah. perfectly good. Thank fine. you for sharing. Oh, you're the leader. You get first crack. All right. Awesome. <laughs> you can what? walk and chew horse at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, right. Um, Right. Tight schedules we have here. Um, I need something to nonchalantly twirl, like the weight on my wakizashi. <laughs> <laughs> they have the kusari gama, right? Yeah. Or, yeah, kusari gama. Sorry, the wakizashi is the short. She, I know what I'm talking about. And she <laughs> takes you further back pro. to a... Professional a ninja. Yes. Level one. <laughs> Level one. <laughs> to, a, massage. <laughs> to a sewer grate. And pops into the sewers. It is quite dark down here. Quite dark. And stinky, of course. What's the sewer grate made out of? It's metal. Iron? Mm -hmm. so I lift it. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a bad society. Yeah. We have underground plumbing. I lift it and bring it. And weight lifting. Yeah. Yeah. Very advanced society. That's what, that, that's what happens when you have like dwarves and gnomes building your infrastructure. They actually put sewers in. <laughs> or you just move on on top of the dwarven city if the dwarves aren't living in anymore. Heck yeah, we're going in here. Are we going down here? I jump in. Humans are horrible colonialists. She jumps into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, following folks down. Following folks down. The, the dwarven city is the sewers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she jumps down into the sewers and lands with a slight splash in the sewer, <coughs> as we said, uh, and she swims over to the shore and pulls herself out. This way. 
and she points deeper into the sewers. I'm going to attempt to swing down elegantly using my mad ninja skills and not actually fall in the sewage. All right, do some acrobatics. Okay. Oh yeah, 21. Oh yes. Do I need to see if I can? I'm going to try and bring the grate with me as I swim. <laughs> Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, you can bring it. I'm just going to climb. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> what I'll wash your bikini. That's right. I'll get a new one. You can, you can oil it yeah, with yeah. horse fat. Yeah. Absolutely. There's some horses upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Not very bad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, how are you getting down this uh, sewer here? It's just dropping. Yeah, all right. Murder hobo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh... No, no, no. Firearms. Saleswoman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a murderer. <laughs> you can tell by my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> you, even have, you even have a murder hobo membership card. I do. <laughs> so does the so captain. <laughs> <cop. laughs> we all have murder It's an honorary murder <laughs> hobo. You realize, Godwin. Murder hobo by theft. You realize, Zeki, now that you're a member of the Pathfinder Society and are an honorary murder hobo, you now need to murder something. What is a murder hobo? Us. Us. <laughs> we're, Adventures. Yeah. We're here to take your watermelons and kill your dog. <laughs> we break all of your pots. Walk into your house, go through your shit, walk out again. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. It's a cooler gang than the one you're trying to join, but go ahead and join this one. Well, wait, wait, no, wait, no. I want to I wanna, I wanna do murder hobo, too. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, this is great. Just lead yeah. us where we're going, and then we'll see how it works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I feel like I'm under pressure. You are. You are fearless leader. Gonna have to make a career decision sooner or later. Wait, you're in demand. Wait, career? Mm -hmm. In in demand? Yeah. Is this a business? <laughs> it's a gig. Yeah. It's a gig. <laughs> it's a gig. <laughs> Which is better than a gang. Mm -hmm. So. Like, this is like a hostile takeover? Not this, yet. This is a recruitment. This is this right now is a recruitment. This is a recruitment, yes. Yeah. What happens next is a hostile, well, it's Maybe. hostile. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. It might, it, it might just be a reconnaissance in force. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that big word meant, but sure. That's okay. <laughs> Lead on. <laughs> Lead on is what it meant. After five or so minutes. It means lots of frilly underpants for you, is what it means. Oh my goodness. This is my lucky day. <laughs> I was not quite ready for this. Some might even fit. She's, she's still got the like pink panty. Yeah, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think her frilly undies are going to fit you. Yeah. But, you know. She's, she's like stretched them to uncomfortable limits over <laughs> Over the giant cotton ears. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what the like holes are for. <laughs> yep, yep. So after leading you around through the dark, dark sewers, she, you get to about there, at a T section of the uh, sewers, and she gives you the organic sign. Let's go ahead and put ourselves on the maps. On this side? Yeah, that's it. Probably be in front. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll stand near the front. Ninja. Ninja. I feel like the ninja should be. We're in proper fireball formation. Yeah, no, it makes good sense for you to be back. <laughs> Maybe there. Cool. Yeah. What's my move? Like 20, 30, probably? I think all of you should be 30. Yep. Yeah. And Eki gives the sewers a deft hop and hops over to the other side of the poop. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! And she seems to just kind of scoot on over and... I just trudge right through, carrying my metal grate. Trudge, trudge, trudge. It's resistance exercise. She, she looks right at you like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, what is it, 1855 strength doesn't come from nowhere. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Bend bars and lift gates. Yep. Bend bars and lift gates. Bend bars and lift gates. It takes training. Yeah. So how are the three other lovely folks getting across this river? I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to hop over nimbly. Okay. Take a running jump. 
All right. Well, give me an acrobatics check. And the number you need to beat is a 10. Hmm. Do I have acrobatics? <laughs> 19. There you go. Wow. 25. Yeah. <laughs> East, even the East German bit. judge likes my man. Yeah. I throw in a little tumbling. <laughs> all right. Hmm. That's now we all look at you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Things I do for a commission. Fall right in the boot. Aww. <laughs> oh, if, if you land with a big enough splash, you can get on that. That's true. Yeah. Not me. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to dex of 18. <laughs> <laughs> Kyra, you're not very dexterous. Give me a reflex save to avoid some splashing poop water. <laughs> I am ninja! I am invincible! Five. Against poop. Five. Five. You're, you're so busy celebrating that you actually made it across <laughs> and praising Saren Ring for the fire that burns in your <laughs> Oh, Sorry. Let me help you out. <laughs> <laughs> This is what a proper religious upbringing <laughs> does. Makes you good and charitable. <laughs> the sun will burn your eyes out someday. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Do you want a towel? Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the towel has poop on it. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is a special like towel. <laughs> Two of the rows. Yeah, true. Yeah. The meeting place is over here. She says, kind of pointing over to the corner. And she said, wait one second. And she casually saunters up and peers around the corner. She looks, and then she runs back. Audience members, if you would like, there are three choices, so please listen to your choices very carefully. If you would like Eki to give a thorough and complete report of what she saw. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have, you'll put your hand up for option one. If you would like Eki to give a report of what she saw, but it's a little bit distracted in Eki fashion, you'll select option B. And for Eki to take this opportunity to play a practical joke on a Mary who happens to be standing there in front, you'll select option C. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a uh, triceps. Oh, triceps. Yeah, triceps. You need to keep it on rotation. Yeah. yeah. All right. Option A. Hands up. You can hop up to the top of that wall. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be a well hand. All right. right. Option B. <laughs> and by process of elimination, option C. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like fun. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I saw someone. Oh, I, I, I stride up to the corner of the wall. In fact, I stride right around the wall. You stride up to the corner of the wall, and she gets a natural 20 to push you into the poop as you walk. <laughs> <laughs> I take the goblin and I say, "Oh, you're Eki. still you're still in the poop." Oh, I am. <laughs> I, I try and grab Eki. You, she's like twenty pounds. Yes, you can <laughs> grab Eki and. I hold Eki under the poop. <laughs> oh, Do not drown the goblin. Just for a minute. Just for a minute. <laughs> one, two. Three, Do we know how we're the goblin? Five, a little. Okay, seven. I bring the goblin out. <laughs> I put her back there. I climb out. I start lifting the grate again. As you hear uh, voices from down the hall in Goblin saying something. Oh, thanks to you, now we're spotted! As you see a set of goblins come charging from around this corner, having knives and pole arms drawn. And they see you, what they prefer to as long shanks, due to your extremely long legs. Reasonable, my legs are awesome. And they seem to want to do their duty and protect this place. Let us roll in the shall we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh dear. And then add your initiative bonus if you have any. Yeah, it should be like on the yep. fourth line down from yep. your name at the top. So yeah, I have 14 is. all in. 
20. I am the world's most flat-footed ninja. Me too. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled bad. Roll up for me. <laughs> okay, sure. Greg, one more time. I mean, what'd you get? 14? 14. Use the one you got at first. Okay, um, I, I got. Uh, I'm, I'm at eight. I'm going to cleric speed. All right. <laughs> Somebody slower than the fast person. Yes. Yay! Yeah. Dwarven top of the round. Yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, you got to drink a beer first <laughs> and then start the fight. And a key. My goal is to try. Yeah, so what are they? So they these are, are the rats that nobody wanted they to kill. They're all dead. <laughs> They seem to have been mutilated in some sort of fashion, but there's about a like one foot thick deep pile of rat skeletons. Yeah, there's a lot of rats that have been kind of mutilated over the years. You only need the eyes for spell components, is the thing. And the tails. And the tails. The rest to, of the to fringe your little goblin jacket. All right, sure. <laughs> you think they would have just eaten? Yeah. Well, the tails aren't very good eating. It's a waste of As you hear a. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to tell you about that trap there. That You're not supposed to stand there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reiko. All right, I am going to run out. Do it, thank you. And I am going to leap over the pit. Is that an acrobatics? Mm hmm Okay. Oh, yeah, 21. Oh, yes. I leap over the pit and fall to my death <laughs> in the thing on the other the side. Next pit. <laughs> How many was, was that? Uh, all pits. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six to me. Okay, so that's, that's, that's my 30 move. All right, I have a weapon with reach. All righty then. And I think that's probably like two across the open space there. Yeah, we'll give it two. All right. You go swinging that Kasargana around the corner corner. Yeah. Alright, let's see how this goes. Fifteen. Plus. Stealth. Nothing. No plus. Oh, you're right. First level! Yeah. I'm a really <laughs> sucky ninja! <laughs> but that's still I got no skills! I just got the gear! <laughs> <laughs> They're very comfortable. Though. That's still they hits. They're so comfortable. And I do have a really good acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Reiko, the first ninja to wear Crocs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> As She's yes, you swing your Kusari Gama around the corner and you hear a satisfying. Yep. How much damage do you do? Uh, I was actually going for the entangle. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Do I roll something else for that at this point? Uh, no. Okay. I've never, I've never, or grapple, I'm sorry. I've never used a weapon with grapple before. This is exciting. All right, so hope I'm trying to grapple. All right, so yes, there is actually something you roll. Okay. Roll your a combat maneuver check. So roll a d20 and add the combat maneuver bonus. Okay, which is zero because first level. Break their combat Ooh, nope, actions. didn't work. All right, so you can still clock them in the head with it. All right, so I roll damage. Yes. Uh, and that's um, the weighted end of it. Is that a different? The weighted end is the d3. Okay. And the sharpened is the d6. In a D3, which is half of a D6. And, uh, two. <coughs> we hear a satisfying thud around the corner. And with the two goblins dispatched, you can help Kyra out of the bed. Yay! Oh. Other side. Yeah, here. Put, put Kyra back in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do it. Drag, 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 drag. drag. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, pull myself down slowly into the pit of rats, scoosh over, mm -hmm. climb back up on the other side, and I'll uh, join them over there. All right. Frogging. So is this goblin dead or unconscious? This one is unconscious. What do we want to do with the unconscious goblin? I don't seem to have an alignment here, so... <laughs> I seem to be perfectly good with anything that comes Talk to him persuasively. Yeah. Neutral. And, oh, neutral. Okay. So you can do whatever you I want. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> it's like being evil, only people, uh, you know, trust you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being evil, only you're not instantly detectable. <laughs> yes. 
It's like being evil, only nobody's I mean, uh, a game versus alignment spells affect you. They're trying to kill us, right? Yeah. So, so it's a little arbitrary. Let's just execute the problem. Well, the problem might give information. Yeah, we could ask him what's going on with the rest of the thing. Is that actually what's going on with the rest of this? You know, information, it's, I find it's really overvalued. It's, you know, the situation's constantly in flux. We learn something now, it's not going to matter later. I'd like to, I, I tried to leave Goblin <laughs> frustrated with this deliberation. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're talking for a whole three seconds. Too much. <laughs> no, no, at least ask the Goblin about like, if there are any more traps. The Goblin's in Archer's. You're trying to sit here? Yeah, sure. Would you wake the Goblin up? Yeah. Put the Goblin in. The Goblin's not terribly unconscious. Would you wake the Goblin up? Can I do it with a healing check, or do I need to? Uh, you can use a heal check, yes. Okay. So it can't take too long. I go um, lift the grate some more. <laughs> uh, you can put some 13. rats on the grate. Thirteen doesn't quite wake him up. What are you doing, too many clothes lady? I'm trying to wake up your friend. Why do you have so much clothes on? It's hot. It's, uh, Don't go all the way bikini, but, you know. <laughs> It's, it's Pajamas are <laughs> It's a requirement of my order, and besides which, you'll notice you didn't find any of mine in that uh, in that bag of loot bag. Because you're wearing Miss Commando lady. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> no chafing issues. No chafing. Also, the layer is good for temperature regulation. Yeah, yeah. If you spend a lot of time in the sun. Very practical. Which one would assume that a cleric of the sun does? Exactly. That seems to be like your, your yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Have I talked to you about this? <laughs> Today? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a ninja. Not it. <laughs> the sun is that. The, the sun is. Well, yes. The sun makes the shadows. The sun also indicates that time of day that we sleep through. Ah, uh, fair enough. It's very well, handy. I can't yeah. seem to wake up. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, time and check. Oh, uh, okay. Get right. Drop them in the pit. Yes. <laughs> There's plenty to eat down there. Hey, what are you doing? doing? Chucking him in the pit with the dead rats. Oh, cool. <laughs> Are there any more traps that we should know about? <laughs> Just to be clear, you guys want to leave a living thing that tried to kill us in a pit behind us? <laughs> Is it really a hazard? Are you trying to heal it, or are you trying to kill it? Because I can kill it. Uh, well, we were going to question Just, it, but we didn't do a very good job. Just regarding it this individual. Oh, I have this. What's she that? pulls out a little potion. <laughs> What's that do? It makes people heal and feel better. No, that's good. No, we don't want to say that. Hold on. Is the handle that opens the crazy pit, um, is that still? That's a little lever over here. So if I pull that lever again, does it close the pit? Mm -hmm. Let's close the pit on top yeah. of the goblin. <laughs> Get it on with our left. And people call me the barbarian. He's got bloody eaten there. He's going to die slow, slowly down. There's a pile of rats twice the size of a goblin in there. I leap on the goblin. Sales and plunge. <laughs> A dagger into the goblin's throat. Oh, fine. I can see how this is going to go. It's yeah. barbaric to leave the, the goblin. <laughs> it's barbaric. The goblin has a month's supply of dead rat in that pit. It That's going to be the worst month of that goblin's <laughs> life. That's true. We all have to suffer for our art. I don't, I don't know, actually. I think if I were a goblin being walled up in a pit with a pile of dead rats would probably yes. be like vacation. my idea of nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose every once in a while in a goblin's life you do run into assholes like us. Yeah. Yeah, so if you probably don't do that locked in a pit with a bunch of dead rats. It's probably an improvement really. Yeah. Besides which they're nocturnal, they're they live underground. Being locked in a pit is is Comforting, comforting. It's like it's a banquet. It's Never a banquet. You're all too. barbarians. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, the goblin is now skewered to the pit of dead rats. Mary pulls out her monocle and top hat. Yeah. You are all barbarians. <laughs> 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 right. well, so now that you murdered the goblin, you should go through its stuff. You're just a barbarian. Okay. For I, and, I, and I will check through this goblin stuff, too. <laughs> Uh, you can see that that goblin also only had a horse chopper on him, I'll take but that. around the guard station, uh, there was a guard station back there that they did have some things for you. A bag! Oh, Potion! With potions! Alright, a bag and two potions. Do we know what kind of potions? Yes, they're written on the back. Alright, alright. Okay, we have a bag. Tanglefoot bag, ranged attack, throw mm -hmm. an enemy for a chance to stick them to the ground. May I hang on to that? That seems like a me kind of thing. Uh, potion of cure light wounds. Well, actually, someone. Oh yeah, potion of cure light wounds. Spontaneously. Uh, give it to the barbarian. Yeah, give it to the care. tank. 
Yeah, here, have some. <laughs> I'm an aspiring musician. Just... <laughs> yes, give it to the, the aspiring, aspiring musician. <laughs> give the tango foot back to the aspiring musician. You can use it to hold on to audiences. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> really often. Claire, please, <laughs> quickly, quick. Has that water on that bird? Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone want some acid? Do you want some acid? No, I'm good. <laughs> Actually, I'll, yeah, I'll take an acid. Why not? I think it's a pretty bad idea to just take that from strangers. Yeah. We're <laughs> not taking it from strangers. We found it yes. in the Goblin Guard Station. Very different. And, and, Very different. The Dickie Ramon the, method. And yes. the, oh, here's some goats. Let's take them. Yeah. And if the police question you, you're just holding it for the Goblin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know what's in this. The Goblin just handed it to me. He yeah. said, yeah, I'll be back for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't look. Yeah. Just say, hey, can I move my stuff at your house? If you see something, say something. <laughs> All right, moving on. If you see something, say nothing. <laughs> something <laughs> to forget. forget. <laughs> I found the non-specified beverage. Yes. <laughs> As you are, you know, picking over the uh, loots dropped by these several goblins, you mm -hmm. can hear some speaking going on in this. Uh, so this hallway has a pretty bad echo to it, as it's got the acoustic. And we've been that so quiet. Of course, <laughs> of course. The gunshots, especially. But and the singing. <laughs> <laughs> but from what you can <laughs> tell, <laughs> the goblins aren't so quiet either. You can hear sounds of more sewer water going, but you also hear the sounds of some sort of lesson coming from deep within, and some very rhythmic tapping, as far as like the music. Music. Now these these spots right. without walls are those chasms or is that just blank these, space? And that's just blank space. Okay, um, there is a wall between. Yes, us. there okay. is a wall. You write your name. I had been assuming it was a bottomless pit. No, there's no okay. two walls there. So that would be exceptionally unusual from plan. <laughs> Intrigued by the music, I guess. Welcome to our shit pit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very logical from <laughs> plan. That's, that's the <laughs> We've gone zero days since our last shooting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my favorite kind of party. As you uh, march forward, what seems closest is some sort of intent um, discussion as several goblins seem to be in a heated debate with someone. Audience, does this person seem to have a very fiery religious tone to them? Option A, or do they seem to have a very pedantic professorial tone to them? Option A. And option B. All right, so you hear in the comments, no goblins, that is not how you make a bomb. <laughs> Tapping music sound. It is drowned out by the sounds of okay. goblins being singed and a s smell of burning flesh. Hmm. That is how you throw the bomb. Now try it again. Yes, Professor. Mm. Ah, good. Good. Oh, oh. Yes, it has got it all over your face. Oh, yes, you need to put that powder on it. Oh. That powder is not the powder for healing the burns. I just wanted to see somebody put that powder on there. <laughs> and now he has burned and looks like a clown. Ooh, this is a good day for me, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. That's that stupid hat guy. Says Eki. Right. As yeah. opposed to stupid hat girl. Oh yeah, that's me, obviously. Okay. <laughs> stupid hat guy. Is it a stupid, stupid hat or is it a stupid hat He wears a stupid hat. In what mean? way is it stupid? What does it look like? It looks like, yeah. It goes like that. A, a tall, pointy hat? No, it's tall and it's flat. Does it have a rim? <laughs> Evil Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, uh, that was the thing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Evil German Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> the worst kind. Let's kill him. We meet again. <laughs> um, Alright, moving down the corridor.
Which we, we could set an ambush. They have bombs. I mean, I don't know. Not to be the part of bear voice of the <laughs> <laughs> We could not put them all in the pit with the rats. Get them to come into our ambush. We sing a luring song. <laughs> just throw a bomb at it. But they're, they're, the song is going to reverberate off the cavern walls, maybe making it sound closer. What if I snuck up on them and then concealed myself and you guys made a lot of noise and moved them out mm -hmm. and then we would have them trapped in between us mm -hmm. and I could like stab it. them in the back and you could stab them in the front. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an acid flash. We can throw acid on the bombs. I've got an acid on the bomb. Great. Keep the other one. I'll throw acid on something. <laughs> yeah, not it. <laughs> Ancient ninja symbol meaning not <laughs> ancient. acid on the next unconscious goblin we come across. Okay, you're gonna sneak up. Sure. To where to where are you trying to sneak on the Well where where do we think the voices are coming from? It seems from? to be coming from this room over here. Alright, so theoretically what I want to do is sneak past that yeah. room to yeah. here. Cool. So I want to make a stealth check, right? That's mm -hmm. like two moves. Yeah. Can you pull me up? It seems to be pretty noisy and pretty thing. You want me to make two stealth checks or just one? Oh, uh, just one. Okay. I probably have a really low chance of being... Well, I rolled a 19, um, and my stealth is an 8, so 27. Where'd you go? <laughs> every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better at this ninja thing. <laughs> Like she's managed with one quarter of our income. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even use a smoke bomb. Yeah. Uh, so guys, what All right, so I'm up here now? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can see inside. Okay. Take some of this. So stealthy. Several goblins using barrels as like workstations, uh, watching intently as the professor goblin up here is kind of working some sort of lesson and these goblins over here are watching as up on a pedestal up here there is a goblin up here at a workstation. Mm -hmm. We'll use some dye up here. He's the one with the hat. Yeah, he's wearing a top hat. And he seemed to have a ring from a monocle, but the glass has kind of been broken out and he doesn't seem to mind at all. So he's kind of got little shards of glass from the rim sticking into his eye, but he's just like, yeah, sure. So he thinks that's what it takes to be professional, as he's schooling these goblins on how to make, as he says, oom bong. Now, do these goblins here near the, do any of these goblins appear to have a functioning bomb in their hands or ready to hand? They seem to be ha they seem to have several powders and reagents on these barrels that they're essentially working off of as they're like. But they don't have anything that looks ready to hurl. No. Okay. May the goblins in your lead detonate like TNT. You <laughs> <laughs> can sing anything with the tune of the mobile boat. <laughs> and it's out of copyright. <laughs> Um, so, I, should we advance just just to right here, just outside the door, Probably. everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give them give them room to run out and then yeah. be pinched. Hello, I goblin, I got a surprise. Hello, goblin, I'll cut out your eyes. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Hello, goblin, it won't take me too many tries. Oh, goblin, goblin, I got a surprise. You out there, that was terrible. Get back to your class. <laughs> what is your home pass? Goblin, I'm not a goblin. <laughs> In fact, I just killed another goblin. <laughs> goblin, mm. 
I'm not even hobbling. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> goblin, I killed your goblin. That goblin seems to be very in tune with goblins of my generation. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a goblin at all. He did tell me. Uh, sure. Well, I don't trust artists these days as they tend to say things that they don't live up to, as they tend to prey on goblins like me who are young and impressionable. Hey, you I want mean, to join our gang? I have a bomb! <laughs> What's the range on a thrown object? Yeah, it depends on what it is. <clears throat> Flash powder? Flash powder? 20 feet. Okay, so I cannot reach the professorial goblin from here. Well, he doesn't quite see you, so you could make a... Could rush the, in. You could reach the tables of reagents with the oh, flash powers. I could indeed. I could indeed. <laughs> you are safely behind a wall, and I am one five foot step from being behind a wall. Yeah, that was plan B. <laughs> and there's still another goblin over there by the barrel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there two barrel tables? There's one here and one here. All right. And then there's a barrel up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the closer barrel. I could call up this goblin to surrender. Are we, are, are we rolling initiative at this point? Or are we... uh, you get a surprise round if okay. you would like to set it off, because they don't quite know well, yes, you're I there. Why, yes, I would. Because they, they see everybody else here. Yes. They don't quite see you. So since, I, since I can't hit professorial goblin's uh, table with my flash powder, I'm going to go for the closer one and just go for confusion. The one with the goblin at it, or this Whichever one? Whichever one I can reach. Oh, yeah, you can hit any of them. I can reach so, either of them? So even though the range is 20 feet, you can throw it beyond the range and just take a minus two penalty to hit, which is okay. not very bad, because you're only trying to like hit in an area. Hit, yeah, I'm just trying to get close to the barrel table. So theoretically, I could get up there. Yeah, yeah. And it you could be minus two? Yeah, it'd be okay. mi yeah, minus two. All right, Do let's it. see how this goes. Oh, not great. What's my, uh... You just use the range bonus like you would for your shirt. Okay, so it's 10. 10? You know, all you need is a 7. Oh, wow. Well. All right. As you throw your flash powers up there, let's see how awful this is going to be for the air goblin up there. All right, yeah. And I have, I have limitless flash powder. What? It's not listed. That's nice. great. <laughs> Caltrips flash powder smoke pellet. No numbers. Nice. <laughs> <Caltrips> all day long. <laughs> As you throw flash powder up there, you see that the goblin is busy mixing something. And right as your flash powder hits the table, he seems to be pouring some sort of blue liquid right on top of it. Excellent. And is it water into acid or acid into water? <laughs> <laughs> As it seems to combust almost instantly. Go ahead and roll me 2d6 fire damage. Excellent. And then everyone roll And I roll the 6 and a 1. <laughs> seven. 7. What one would expect from 2 What everybody one would roll initiative. Is, it's on. Ah! It is officially on. It's 60 on. is brought. Much better. 20. That is much better. I changed dice. <laughs> You are dead to me. <laughs> I chose you because you were the black guy. You have failed me. Kyra, what'd you get? 16. 16. Come here. 13. 13. Come 13. Ooh. In the case of a tie, um, person with the highest initiative modifier goes first. Five. The highest one. Initiative modifier. Initiative modifier. More. So, yeah, I go first. Okay. Well, no, you go third. Well, I go first to the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're composing song lyrics. Very so, so not only did you start off the assault, Rico, but you were the first to be able to react to the results of this assault. All right. Um, I'm going to take a. There's still one goblin in there, not doing much of anything, right? Right. There is one goblin. So right now, all these goblins are flat-footed. As a ninja, you get your sneak attack if you hit any of them with a weapon. I well, I'm going to take my five-foot step forward and stab this guy in the back. All right. Then. Ugh. Because it's 
So it's an extra d6 mm -hmm. if you hit. Right. Is it? Uh, is there a, an advantage to hit on that sneak attack? No, just an extra d6. Okay. Um, and is there any kind of flanking on this guy? Or there's no, there's no flanking, side? but he's flat -footed. Okay. Ooh, not great. But um, rolled a twelve. Uh, 12, flat footed on the help, lab helper goblin, will hit. Yay! Alright. Eh! Four whole points of damage. Four whole points of damage as he comes running into the hall to critique your music and receives some very disturbing feedback. <laughs> <laughs> as he takes four points of damage and he squeals like a little piggy. That thing where you turn your back on the ninja. Mm. Yeah. And it is his turn to rebut to your scathing yeah. opinions of him and his uh, back. So he will draw a dog slicer and he will try to chop around and dog slice me. And chop these slices. Because that's what you do with dog slicers, is chop people. They see 15. Alright. No, you do that with the horse. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. He got a 21 to hit you. Ooh! He's a frightening little goblin. Fear him. Somebody else stab him in the back now. Yeah. Take one point of damage. No. Take one point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. So eight eight a, hit points. There we are. It's a chihuahua. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> chihuahuas yeah. are very dangerous. He got the Pomeranian slice from Lama. <laughs> All right, Kyra. All right. Anybody who doesn't want to be on Instagram is on that side of the table. Duck. <laughs> You're done. You're in it. Yeah. <laughs> in it to win it. Kyra, you are up. You I am to? going to um, rush forward and um, is the is that goblin still sure. alive and functioning? Yes, obviously, it just sliced it. Okay, I'm going to rush up and tell the goblin. Surrender or face the wrath of the unvanquished sun. Uh huh? <laughs> Too long an answer. <laughs> Fifteen? Uh, yes, I'll have. Plus two, seventeen. Right. Not enough for a critical yeah, So that's only on the natural dial before you add uh, big three points. That's still enough to take him down with before that. Reiko gave to him before. As he kind of tries to stand up, but gives out at the last second. Lyria? Right. Um, Accept this blood, O Senre! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So I'll, I'll move up here. Which should give me a clear shot into the room. I don't suppose anybody's interested in joining our gang. We have lucrative <laughs> sales opportunities. Gangs are very bad. Okay, you I'll... are a really bad person. All right, so I'll shoot the goblins' work table again. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the reagents on there have been badly damaged. Okay, I'll shoot this goblins' work table. All righty then, that works too. All right. No, natural one. Ooh. Oh, your gun, your gun kind of gives a very scary. Ah, my gun exploded in my hand. <laughs> oh well. Draw the scimitar then. Look down the barrel and see what's the matter. No. <laughs> Look down the barrel and give it a couple more squeezes. I've Actually. played that game before. <laughs> a mirror. That's why I only have two eyes. Uh, I, I step into the room and I address this goblin and ask if that goblin liked my signal. Uh, that one? Yeah. I don't think so. No, no. No answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to take the uh, metal grate that I've been carrying and hurl it <laughs> at the goblin. Okay. <laughs> Alright. What do I roll? An attack roll. Uh, so use the same bonus that you would for your javelin on your sheet. That one. This one? Yep. Uh, it's an 18. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. And the bonus is. Uh, 
Uh, you hit it on the 18 alone. Plus, plus two. Alrighty then. Yeah. Yes, great to head contact has been made. Excellent. <laughs> Roll a d6 no. and add great. your strength. <laughs> Roll a d6. Yeah, I was waiting for someone to make some. Excellent. Five. Uh, and my strength is. Probably plus three. Yeah. Yeah. My strength is 18. So that's a plus, plus four. four. Okay. So five plus four. <laughs> but, but I only have seven hit points. <laughs> so you're like, do you like my music? Uh, no. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong answer. It's a very mature way to deal with criticism. I'm very loyal to my fans, but you weren't a fan. So. <laughs> Let's get these goblins that are no longer coming back again. I pick up the grid again. That's your best weapon. Well, it's over here. Music. He pulls a small vial of liquid out of his coat and chugs it. And you see that his potion of goblin strength. Uh, yeah, his small little <laughs> goblin body seems to enlarge uh, to the size of a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin. Ah. Are we out of goblins other than? Yeah. Other than over here, yeah. Yeah, other than the incredible bulk here. Starts moving over here. <coughs> Break up. Yes. You're up. I'm up. This slightly large and very singed goblin up there has made himself a little bit larger than he was before. Well, I'm gonna step in to support the same barbarian with the overlarge sword. <laughs> Still snaking. And I'm gonna huck a vial of acid in our little friend. Well, that's me. <coughs> Alright, so roll a ranged attack like you normally would. So it's a ranged touch attack, which means that it doesn't have to go through his armor class, it just has to hit him somewhere on his body. Yeah, that's gonna hit him somewhere on his body. <laughs> So, 22. Um, that misses because it has to be within one standard deviation of... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that is. <laughs> How's that working out for you? <laughs> and it's... Um, a d6 of acid. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I've been burnt several times before. <laughs> Today? Yes! Da! Uh, Wait, what do you think we can run? He doesn't know. Sort of Russo German. He yeah. doesn't know what he's going for here. It sounds smart, so he does it. It's like we're. Kind of. Um. I guess there's just no, nothing for it but to charge right in here. <laughs> Maybe he hasn't heard about the Unconquered Sun. Maybe he hasn't. He probably hasn't. He's, he's been burned by the Unconquered Sun. Six. The Unconquered Sun. Oh. Maybe I'm just not explaining our benefits package. Well. <laughs> <laughs> our benefits, our benefits package currently is so join and we won't kill you. Yes. yes. <laughs> I don't understand. I want to insult him to uh, 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 submit to the power of the Unvanquishable Sun. Nine! <laughs> <laughs> so close. <laughs> well, actually, I can't hit on that sword, so I guess I will. Just that'll be my action then. Alright. Uh, Lirian. Okay, so I'm gonna move up. I'm going oh. to. Oh. You're standing on the goblin. Yeah, I can't stand on the goblin. I'm gonna move you up. You can move three. You can I have, uh, on the goblin I have a and quick keep clear going. thing. Um, uh, so I'm going to, as a standard action, remove the broken condition from my pistol, which right. has just suffered a misfire. And then I'm going to shout, No, really, if you join our gang, we probably won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Sell it! Yeah. It's yeah. kind of true. I got these panties. Level one saleswoman here. <laughs> Sell it, Marianne. Yeah. Sell it. Always be closing. Oh. <laughs> I believe our motto is always be opening. Yeah, always be opening. <laughs> Uh, I want to ask this goblin, are you, what did you think? Are you a fan? I'm, I'm a goblin. Uh, a fan of my music, though. 
I am no fan of music. I am made of goblin flesh. Ah, uh, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have uh, both of those horse choppers still. <laughs> I'm gonna throw both of them simultaneously at the goblin. All right. Roll me, two, yeah. roll me two of those, uh, two weapon fighting, you take a minus two off of what your normal range attack is. Okay, so I have a two and a six. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's not going to go well for you, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you succeed at throwing them. Yeah. It's just nowhere near where you intended. So, I mean, you succeed at it. I, I feel like the, the, the one that came out in negative numbers, maybe you should ricochet back to <laughs> <laughs> Bus, Thanks, Under Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> We're not all coordinated. So. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing too many arm exercises. Yeah, you you're not on your fine motor control. You just gotta stretch out those shoulders. Otherwise, your tendons are gonna get really tight, and you're gonna start having like a killer's tendon problem. Here. Yeah, foam roll. <laughs> we can use one of these barrels to sort yeah. of foam roll. Yeah, that's probably a good barbarian foam roll. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Becky looks over at you guys. Oh, come on, what are we going to do? Shout at him all day? Or are we going to get there and be hostile? That's a good point. We should be hostile. <laughs> I was hostile. Mm-hmm. I was extremely hostile. <laughs> My gun was jammed. <laughs> I already killed him with a grate. Yeah, fine. <laughs> and Nikki tries to jump this little gap here between where these stairs are ruined. Oh, don't do that. No, I got it. 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 You're fundamentally useless. <laughs> <laughs> She's standing up there next to this. You're fundamentally useless. <laughs> Way to support the team. She's a, she's a provisional member of the team. <laughs> we, we are sen- so sending you to sensitivity. <laughs> yeah, we need to have a talk with HR. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and now she's standing up there with this hulked out goblin. And she realizes the error of her ways, <laughs> as the goblin sees an opportunity to just go ahead and reach his hand out and kind of push her Aww. to the wall. He will at least try. Now, <clears throat> the thing about using maneuvers such as that, when you don't have a certain feat, is that it provokes an attack of opportunity. You're just not very good enough to not open yourself up. And Eki will take this opportunity to try to stab him in the face. <laughs> go, Eki. Stabbing in face. Succeeded. Yay. See, now I'm revising my opinion upward. For four points, five points of damage. Wow, because she has a strength. What this means is. You know, as annoying goblin NPCs go, it's amazing how well she's got us on her side. Yeah. <laughs> I blame you. Yeah. It's like you're good at this or something. <laughs> as when you take damage from an attack of opportunity caused by trying to perform a combat maneuver, you take that damage that you've taken as a minus to your combat maneuver. So she'll also, this guy will also take a minus five, in addition to his minus one that he already had, to try to push Eki off this cliff. Well, that's an eight, and probably wouldn't push anything. <laughs> so he kind of gives her a very... Sure we're the barbarian. He gives her a kind of uncomfortable hug. <laughs> he, he tries to push her over and realizes it's not going well, so he tries to salvage the situation. <laughs> sort of hand on the back. Yeah. Of course, he's covered in acid. Yeah. yeah. Rayco. Yes. And Can't you run up walls or something? <laughs> she can massage the wall. I can, I can attempt to make a climb. Jump off the barrel. Jump off the barrel? Yeah. Throw the barrel out. No. Can I make a climb while to scramble up there? Mm-hmm. Is that an action? It'd be part of your movement. Part of my movement? Okay. All right. This is, I, I think logically at this point this should blow my stealth. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to use these two opposed walls to kind of do the run-up thing. Mm-hmm. Use the corners to kind of brace yourself? Yeah, exactly. Stemming is the technical term. Uh, technical <laughs> terms. Technical <laughs> terms. All right. 15, uh, 18. 
Oh yeah, that's good enough. All right. Uh, do I have enough left to make an attack? Uh, that would be a little bit. A little bit far? Yeah, a little bit far. All right. Kyra. But you, but I scramble there. to the top of the wall and go, Hi. <laughs> Ready to go. It, it's looking a little crowded up there. So I think I'm just going to whip out my sling and uh, uh, send a bullet his way. All right. Ooh. Um, 15. Uh, 15, yes. Four points. Satisfying lump on the head as he gets a baseball sized lump on his little dog in the brain, and he seems to be a bit woozy. Hey, uh, you get up here and fight me like a goblin. You do not. Fighting one like a goblin. Let me in. Running away and falling in the poop. Yes, <laughs> I am fighting you like a goblin. I'm sniping at you from long range. This is true. We're leading you into traps and sniping at Yeah, I'm so using environment weapons. So he's up there. Can I like basically lay down covering fire to prevent him from attacking Eki or um, Renko? Sure. We'll let you do what's known as a ranged uh, eight another action. Okay. Eight another is basically you make an attack. You'll try to hit AC of armor class of ten. All right. If you do so, you'll provide minus two to any attack that he tries to make because he's kind of scared to put his arm, you know, there or something. Yeah, that seems that seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a thirteen. All right. So you'll. Kind of do that. Don't even think about it. Yeah. Bam. Uh, feel lucky. Yeah. Oh, Mary, that was intentional. Um, I'm gonna collect my grate. <laughs> All right. A grate is returned to your inventory. Does that conclude my the possibilities for this? Uh, I was close enough that you could probably do that as part of. I mean, you got technically could have like five foot stepped over here. And, Mm -hmm. and grab the grate. So you could still throw it again if you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Spin around great and sorry, throw it. Great, great sorry, great. Mm. Quite as great as a great 17. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm good with my great. <laughs> good to great. <laughs> Exotic weapon proficiency. Great. <laughs> and now I roll this. Mm -hmm. And add four. Can you just huck that grate up there? Two plus four is six. six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huck that grate. <laughs> you huck that grate. You see little birds swirling around his head. <laughs> he seems to... Any sort of stiff breeze might knock him over at this point. But he's still standing. <laughs> for now. And it's his dex? Uh, oh, no, it's his dex. <laughs> No look stab. She covers her eyes and swings because, well, she wants to have fun too. Oh. She will hit. Fifty percent miss chance. Uh, she misses. <laughs> That's okay, Eddie. You just stand right there and be flanking. <laughs> and proceeds to harass and harry people. This goblin might be redeemable, but you, Longshank, shall suffer. You're taller than I am. <laughs> Only temporarily. <laughs> I can get a shrink spell. Well, until you do, you are still a Longshank. Not too sure about your police work there. <laughs> <laughs> He will try to stab you. But he's not very good with this dagger. Does a 16 hit you? Uh, yes. Just. For five points of damage. Yikes, okay, I'm a hurting unit. I have two hit points. Does uh, that try take into account of his minus two? <laughs> okay. Oh, you're right, 14, because. As he's swinging, there's a bang from behind oh. you, and he kind of... Well, yeah, my AC is 15, so no, it doesn't hit me. All right, oh. so... Yeah. You get an A. <laughs> 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 All right, 
Captain Reiko. All right, I'm gonna take a five foot step over here behind the goblin and backstab because that's what I do. Just scan everybody. What? Go downstairs? No. No. <laughs> After 20, it kind of rolls. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how that works. This isn't, this isn't the price is right. <laughs> First close, is close to 20 is possible without going over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you always get that one person that doesn't quite get that. It has to Nine go points. all the way around. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what, what? But it only had one hit point. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Splorch. Yeah, you know that thing where you get the paper and you drop it and you cut it with your sword and you fold a lantern out of it? And now I think it's about time that we use the word to get crit die. I forgot to do this before, but for sneak attacks and crits, we always, you know. Oh, we roll the die. Mm, right in the left foot. Oh, well, mm. obviously I severed his arm here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's doing the flamingo here as he. He, he hops and falls off the. Oh. That was really satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> I played a rogue. Can, can, can you fall into the reagents? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it cleans itself up when he falls into a pool. Yeah, and then there's a nice the explosion. And, yeah, very yeah. cinematic. Fireworks. Like a Batman story, is yeah. <laughs> Oh, great. He's going to come back as Goblin Face. Yeah. How do you tell him from a regular Goblin? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see some like campaign posters outside. Look for Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look for Goblin face. Well, that was fun. <laughs> so you mean hostile? I like this hostile thing. Yeah. yeah. Hostile? Are there any Are there any barrels left, or have they all exploded? Good that, job. That barrel is fine. That barrel is perfectly fine. I'm gonna take that barrel. Check it. Check inside. Mm, I'll check, check inside. Yeah, good, good idea. Uh, let's, why don't we search the room? Yeah. And, and the goblins. Yeah, let's grey out the room. <laughs> you knock down the door, kill the monster, get the treasure. Yeah. All right. Oh. Not the barrel was too. Important to keep it in order. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Knock down the room. Get the treasure. Get the monster. Kill the treasure. Yeah. Kill, pillage, then burn. Okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> Sequence is very important. All right. Uh, on, since you're probably the closest one up there, Reiko, here's what you see. What? All right, this is what's up top of the wall. We got an amulet. Don't forget to check the corpses. We'll check the corpses downstairs. As you're checking. Amulet of natural armor plus one. Ooh. We got a potion, potion of invisibility. I don't need that. Who wants that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I can do that. With that. Yeah. I can use that to like get the like the Romulan uh, uh, war. How's your AC? Yeah. You guys down there would find these. Uh, I got a steel shield, a wand, and a bottle, an acid flask. This um, is a wand of cure light wounds, and this is a plus one shield bonus to armor class. Anybody want the shield? No. <laughs> it's your sword one or two handed? Uh, it's two handed. I, I mostly don't use it because it's too heavy for me. Uh, that's why I'm training. Um, <laughs> got bulk up a little bit. Is it the great sport? Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. I'm the only one who can use the shield. Yeah, and I have no interest in the shield. What's your, what's your AC? My AC is a number between right there. The it's 15. You should 15. use it. Yeah, you need, yeah, the, you need the natural armor. I do? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. It's just going to give you a plus one AC bonus, Great. make you hard hit. Cool. Feels like shit. A potion of cure moderate that we should, we should save until any of us have more than 1d10 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> you can get more hit points. Um, I don't know. I could use the treasure we've been finding makes me worry. Or like <laughs> I can We're not getting just hurt enough. It. <laughs> I could use the cure light wands, there I you suppose. Go. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, split the healing a little. Yeah. 24 charges, Jesus. I could probably use... I'm just going to walk around stabbing myself and healing really myself for <laughs> good reason. I'm going to develop a dependency on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Start 
chugging acid. Uh, <laughs> sure, like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. What else have we got? Uh, so the, these are the old ones. This okay. is my acid flask and my potion of invisibility. Oh, um, yeah. And you have the shield. I have, still have right. two po- healing potions and an acid. I'm, I'm holding on to this other healing potion, even though it's way more than I'm likely to need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anytime somebody needs a wand yep. of cure light wounds. And okay. who's who's down here? Plates? Just me. Just I got one. Yep. Okay, I can I can sit at negative one. A goblin is unlikely unlikely to single shot me seven hit points. And oh, if they do, yeah. they you just know what? Them into, uh, you know what? You know what? Here, have have one charge of oh, sure. Okay. We have, now we have twenty three charges oh. left. Okay, I'm all better. I feel fabulous. Jim, didn't you take a point of damage from falling earlier? You yes, yes you did. did. Here, have another charge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seems kind of redundant, but all right. I don't know. Might as well be top Oh, yeah, we should definitely save this wand for things that are going to happen later in the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the oil crisis. Everybody's trying to drive around with their tank full. I take, like I take the barrel. <laughs> look in the barrel. I look in the barrel. Yeah, that was the stuff you found. Oh, okay. And now I have the barrel. Yes. All right, did we on the goblins? Did we search the goblins? We search, I think so, we yeah. searched the corpses, searched the whole right. room, right? Yeah. All right, moving on. The goblins, there was just a whole bunch of horse choppers, so each of them had a horse chopper. Well. I'm done with horse choppers, I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> Much better with heavier objects. <laughs> Carry the grate, too. No, I'm leaving the grate. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've mastered the grate. Right. I'm not going to get any more grate with the yeah, grate. Exactly. Now I'm moving on to the barrel. Yeah. If you combine the two, it could be the great barrel. Mm, that's right. <laughs> yep. See, I, I, great and barrel. The character and the character description. The, the, the little quote at the bottom is the spider waits for its prey to come to its web. And I feel like that this is character is much more of like a jumping spider. Yeah. <laughs> you know, who goes out hunting. Yeah. 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 I'm a wolf spider. Yeah. Yeah. I'm smart and have many eyes. <laughs> I used to, but then I did the gun cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> did your eye patch move from side to side? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Eight eyes, two of right. them covered with eye patches. Are we, are we moving on? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Right. We had, I head out. I'll, I'll, I'll take the lead with the barrel. All right. Can we hear any more of that music? Yeah, you still hear the music. Down this way? It's very rhythmic and oh. soothing. Like soothing rhythmic or dance rhythmic or it's EBM. Run. <laughs> you hear strumming on a very out of tune <laughs> ukulele. Played all the ways. <laughs> Is Effie coming with us? Uh, yes. Okay, I just didn't know if she was heading I'll, back. I'll, I'll, I'll help her down. Uh, she can. She can. Come down, step down onto my hand. Just one jump for a little person. So we, I, I, I guess we just continue walking until well, some, something occurs. So kind of walk around. Explain to Eki as we're going now. So we, we have all of the stuff now that we didn't have before. So that's profit. Little stuff. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's profit. <laughs> that's right. We should give Eki yeah. something. Yeah. Wait, you want something? What's profit? How about an acid flask? Yeah, have an acid flask. Okay, I trust totally trust that with an acid flask. <laughs> <laughs> profit. So, yeah. Well, this is income actually. Oh yeah, that, that's true. That this yes. is income at this point. What remains after we leave the after we return to the surface from your profit? Yeah. Does anybody need a totally non-branded chocolate sandwich cookie? I would love a totally non-branded <laughs> chocolate sandwich cookie. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. How about you, Brian? No, thank you. Good. You can even have two if you want. As you come around the corner, you hear an off tune ukulele play. I feel a surge of professional jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest that we just walk into the room and say that our musicians better drive me into a rage. It doesn't drive you into a rage yet. Just a, just a Ma'am, moment. Ma'am, you've got musicians. A moment, uh, a moment of professional jealousy. Oh. As striding out on a very, uh, very gaunt looking dog with no hair at all as a goblin strumming a off-key ukulele saying, I am Gobcardo, the goblin of love. (laughs) Play melancholy baby. 
Free birds! Top <laughs> <laughs> Cardo does not take requests. Free birds! <laughs> I will burn your house down! Free birds! Come here, do you take requests? Oh, absolutely. Oh! Yeah. Would oh. you consider changing to the worship of the sun? Battle of the bands! <laughs> One day I worship the sun. No. I, I approach the goblin. Uh, I, I at least walk up sort of towards the bridge and try to make small talk. I you say, walk so. up to the bridge and you notice that it's kind of very curious. I still have my barrel. I still have my barrel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, bring the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Barrel's there. Barrel's there. Hmm? Two? Yeah, bring me up. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to be over here. Two other goblins around the corner seem to be sucking awfully at their stealth checks to hide from me. <laughs> I say, hey, you know, I, I, I'm also a fellow musician, and I've actually been looking for somebody who can play uh, ukulele. Are you interested in uh, maybe joining up? <coughs> yeah! Cool. What got Cardo does not join a band. The band joins Cop Cardo. <laughs> <laughs> The best I could do is we would be like a, a kind of a duet team. I mean, I don't want to be, you know, kind of a backup singer or anything like that. Kind of like the Captain and Tennille. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows what you're talking about. <laughs> That's okay. He's really young. I, I just don't want to be a backup singer. You know, I. What do you, what do you think? No, 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 no. Cardo does not play share the spotlight. You and the back. No, 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 it's not gonna work for me. <laughs> I, I, you know. Don't get so gob Cardo, he's amazing! Says a female <laughs> goblin back there. <laughs> does she have a daddy's on her head? She does not. Well, she's, she's well, she's so much she, cooler she, than she, she seems is. to have like a gob Cardo fan yeah. t shirt. Yeah, see, <laughs> your fans wear panties on their heads. I don't have any fans. Aki has already told me she's not my fan. She's so wearing her panties on her head. That's true. She's that's a fan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what that means? Oh. Here you go. Wait, 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 put them in this. Okay. Don't listen. Thanks. Thanks. It means a lot. Uh, so what's wrong with the bridge? It's just awful. Yeah, I, I can, I'm standing right here. <laughs> he, he, he rhymes the same. She rhymes the same word with the same word. That's a thing that happens in the popular music a lot. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, God Cardo, is that our musician has much more devoted fans than you do. No one has more devoted fans than God Cardo. <laughs> Would your your fans aren't wearing panties on their heads? Fans, panties, heads, now. <laughs> panties, heads, now. That might be the quote of the evening. <laughs> or the quote of the tour. Yeah. <laughs> the night is young. As the like lady goblins come out and like, We love you, Gacardo, but I don't think Did you hear them? <laughs> they have one goblin with panties on their heads, and you are two goblins. If you two goblins put your panties on your heads, we will double our fan base. Do they do it? Right? <laughs> 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 I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm so not picturing this. <laughs> I'm going to take advantage of this distraction to attempt to melt into the shadows. <laughs> and I melt very badly, but um, that is, uh, uh, what is that? That is a 13 of melting. 13. I used up all my... That goblin doesn't see you. That goblin doesn't see you because they're too busy taking off their panties. <laughs> and Gob Cardo is... Trying to watch apparently. Totally <laughs> 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 not peeking. I'm melting into the shadows. Yeah. He's a professional rival, so fire away. I I keep giving them chances to mm -hmm. to say they mm -hmm. like your music. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
can uh, join the game or convert to them. Yeah. I mean, we've given them so yeah. many chances. So honestly. many chances here. Uh, I'm really starting to feel like I'm not a very good team builder. Not reaching them. Yeah. Somehow. Somehow. I, th I think I think you're an excellent team builder. It's just that some people are very hard to reach. I can reach them with my bullets just fine. Shoot them. I think it's time for some outreach. Yes, it's time for some outreach. I'm going to uh, I'm going to present myself as the Alkenstar Firearms Corporate Outreach Representative <laughs> and do some very aggressive marketing. Exactly. Yes, a demonstration. In this case, I'm demonstrating the Alkenstar A220 hand pistol <laughs> with rapid breach reloading rounds. All right. <laughs> so. I'll shoot Gop Cardo while he's busy watching his fans take his panties, their panties off. All right. And I am skulking up in the darkness. Alright. Go ahead and fire off the round as a surprise. Okay. Um, 12. 12. 12 will... Touch. Touch AC. He doesn't quite see you, so I can't see why not. Yep. Hey! hey. Can I... Sneak across the river, at river, <laughs> <laughs> or is that a, either or? That's that's going to be how you go about it. I okay. mean, if you jump, yep. you're going to need a 15 acrobatics, which okay. you could do. Just doable. I'm actually going to try to jump the narrow <clears throat> bit here. Yeah. So 15. Let's see what we do. What'd you get? Uh, I got 13. Alright, 13 is close enough that you can make it over, but you kind of drop a leg into the sewer water. Oh, well. so, <laughs> I did so well for so long. Really you got one good. leg in the water. What could be good? The rest of us are just covered in <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that like, one of you brushed up against me. Where does all this come from? The horses. The horses. The horses. The horses. <laughs> the dying horses above. Those poor <laughs> dead horses. The dying, the shitting <laughs> horses. Uh, the dying of dysentery. Yeah. Let's roll initiative. Um, so that was seven on Gopardo, by the way. Seven. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Twelve. 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 Uh, Eleven. No, I'm, yeah, no, I'm I'm at uh, seven, being so demoralized by my failure as a corporate recruitment executive. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm at eleven. There goes the bonus. Yeah, exactly. Kyra, six. I'm also discouraged. Yeah, we need to figure Maybe out. We should just give up and go. Up. We need to. I think we should work on our branding. Like, it's the pitch that's really wrong here. You know, I can team up with you. What you need is a jingle. A jingle! <laughs> guns and guns are lots of fun. We got lots and lots of guns. You know, I like this. <laughs> this is good. I think this is right. That's your best one yet. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I'm really, yeah. I'm really getting the guns of it. It's still yeah. pretty bad. Who's that? I don't know. That's pretty catchy. Guns and guns and lots of fun. We got guns and lots of guns. Stop it! Guns and lots of fun. Stop it! Stop it! This song is awful. You're dancing. Yeah, you're dancing. Do we win the admiration of any of the goblins? <laughs> you think this one kind of was like, I get where he's going. <laughs> It's new and edgy. We got guns up to our bones. <laughs> oh no 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 no! <laughs> this is no good at all. Mm. Gob Cardo takes his dog and moves over here to this side of the bridge and pulls out a bag of small little jagged pieces of metal and starts spreading them out in front of them. You will not get the cop car, though. See, he's got limitless caltrops, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As he shakes them from a little container that sounds like maracas. <laughs> Has he got, like, a little backbeat going on there? Yeah. yeah. He's, he he's, plays his maracas, they go cheek cheeky bum cheek cheeky bum <laughs> Rico, there are no caltrops <laughs> over here. Yeah. What's the ceiling look like in this place? Um, so this is like some sort of barracks of some sort that has kind of been constructed and then turned into a sewer. So it's about 15 feet high. Okay. Um, in this room, you can see that there's a couple sewer pipes up here where the water is kind of dropping mm -hmm. in from other barracks. Mm -hmm. Nothing over Gumcardo that might be mm -hmm. sort of dislodgeable. 
Not necessarily, no. Alright, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, break up. What would you like to do? I'm still sneaking. Uh huh. Can I tap that on a diet? I think I can. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I am. I feel bad beating up on the fan goblin, but we're just gonna have to kill him anyway. <laughs> That's a potential fan. I object. Can you try and kill the goblin that's yeah, not a fan? Yeah. <laughs> My fan goblin's too far away. And but you can't reach. You can't. You're not I'm too far away. Oh, I'm begging you here. I'm begging you. I've got, I've got one fan and it's I'm not going to give fan. this goblin flanking. I mean, I can throw a shuriken. No, I would really appreciate it. Right. I would owe you one. Right. I would owe you one. He's looking at a 100% increase in his fan base. the other goblin who is the potential fan. Which one is no, the potential fan? Oh, okay. Yeah, then I won't step. Thank you. Thank you. I wouldn't do that to you. I appreciate it. I wouldn't do that to his sister. It's appreciated. Yeah, watch out for each other. All right. That is a, a an 18 with the shuriken. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. And a whole point of damage. Don't forget the sneak attack, because... Oh, right, right, she's, right, right, right. I get to roll the d2 again. No, it's a d6 for sneak attack. Is it a d6? Attack. Yes. Oh, sure. oh, shit. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay. Suddenly, shuriken. And useful. since it's a sneak attack, let's go. Whoa. That's a, All right. That's a slaughter. Mm -hmm. So you to roll this? Yes. Right. Let's see where you snuck. Left foot. <laughs> I think this die has a bias. <laughs> Rako the left foot killer. <laughs> left leg. Left foot. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not saying your die is biased. Full body. I'm not saying your die is biased. I'm just saying your die is biased. <laughs> so right as she got those or panties in the in the perfect non you know interfering position, she sees a lady in pajamas throw a shuriken right into her foot. <laughs> no, she's not. Oh, yes, okay, yes. And she dies. And she dies. She got her in the Achilles heel. Like seven, seven points. No, she's, 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 she's fine. Well, she's not fine. <laughs> she's so still conscious. Hurt. She's hurting quite a bit. The Achilles This Achilles. is what happens when you're not a loyal fan. Amiri? Oh, well, I'm going to um, advance uh, not onto that. I'm just going to. Advance right kind of into the water there. Here? Uh, east of the bridge. I'm worried if I stay on the bridge it'll collapse. I'm bringing my barrel. Yeah. And I'm going to address myself <laughs> to the fan goblin. Uh, and I'm going to ask the fan goblin what kind of music she's kind of into. <laughs> I like tribal war chants and stuff about killing dogs. Okay, uh, I'm going to spend the rest of this turn thinking about a dog killing him. <laughs> There's a dog right here. Fog the dog! Fog the dog! Fog the dog! Fog the dog! <laughs> what do you think? You like that? That was. It's kind of a war chant dog killing song? No? Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna throw the barrel at her. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand artistry. <laughs> I gave her a chance. She couldn't like it. Why don't you go after the dog? Yeah. There's an actual dog right there. No, I'm yeah. going after the fan who turned on me. The fan who could have been the apostate fan. The one you were just begging me to spare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, wasn't clear, it wasn't clear then that she was gonna betray me. And, That's reasonable. and I feel a lot hurt. And I'm, no one, no one and I'm actually you. going into a rage that makes me deadly or tougher and dauntless. <laughs> also, you can't use that. So I throw this? Like, okay. Mm -hmm. One. <laughs> so, so with all the water coming out of this barrel, since you've like been trudging through the poop, it's a little hard to lift, and you kind of release the barrel into the sewer. It kind of Which slips out of the sludge flowing? It seems to be flowing that way. <laughs> okay. Now I'm really enraged. <laughs> Eki's turn. I don't... You guys actually think that's good? No? No. I don't get it. You guys are, you guys are weird. Politics. <laughs> So, uh, 
Um, it's well, a team building exercise. It's <laughs> team building. Oh, we, oh, I get it. We're we're promoting synergy across business units. Yes. <laughs> you Precisely. You gotta cut across. You gotta de-silo the verticals. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. We're actualizing oh. cooperative enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now is music 2.0. That's what I'm saying. All right. It's a new paradigm. Yeah. <laughs> it's the newest paradigm. The newest, oldest paradigm. I think you will reach right, out and ready? start climbing on yeah. top. <laughs> oh, I, that was my fault. That was yeah. my fault. Okay. I love that one. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. We're just gonna start throwing these at me. Oh! Well done. As uh, Echo climbs onto Lurianne's back, he's like, "Stupid hat lady! I mean, um, stupid hat coworker! Let's." That's good. Right, that's good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I still like this hat. Forward. Do you think the hat's the problem? Do you think the hat's the reason the people aren't, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's really your turn. And now, and now you have a goblin on your back. All right, well, that's fine. Um, <laughs> okay. Is that what the kids are calling it these days? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, one too many hits of the acid, and it's just, uh, just hey, getting to you. Hey, you want a goblin piggyback? Sure. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, so let's see. The barrel is floating by. I'm going to try to shoot the dog so the dog freaks out and runs into the caltrips. Okay. You ever seen Donkey Kong? <laughs> You're suggesting I jump on the barrel? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Actually, that would probably be a better me trick, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but she actually has the acrobatic skill. It's probably <laughs> carrying the goblin. Yeah, yeah, no. You're, you're goblin heavy. Yeah, exactly. I'm going, to, I'm going to wade into the river of shit and then try to scoop the dog so it throws. That happened a long, long time. <laughs> I'm going to wait into the river of shit about 7 o'clock this evening. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to spook the dog so it throws the goblin bard onto his own cultures. Alright. Alright. Natural 20. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, roll to confirm. Alright, so is that I'm just rolling to hit? Yes, basically to hit. Um, so that's a 14. That will hit. Damn right. And that is a critical hit. And left, that's foot, that. left foot, left foot, <laughs> left foot. <laughs> that's, that, well, that's that times four that you saw. That's four d8s of damage. Okay, well, that's fun. This is only the dog, right? Yep. Right leg. <laughs> it's just me. Yeah, it's no, it's just you. It's just, okay, can I have some d8s? I have my one. Oh, okay. I didn't expect to have this is, this is usually like things that clerics say. Give me all your d8s. <laughs> Give me your d8s if we be friends. All right, here we go. Things you never want to hear from your cult theology. Okay. Okay, everybody give me their D6s. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, 11. <laughs> oh. As the dog falls. Oh. oh. We can heal the Well, dog. we just lost the audience. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, the intention of the shot was to get the dog to throw the guy off. Yeah, he has to. Alright, fair enough. See if he can stay. Standing in his uh, spot there. I'm gonna heal the dog, audience. We <laughs> <laughs> have 22 charges left on this one. <laughs> so the dog falls, but Gobcardo does manage to fall off in the same square. Okay. He doesn't actually get tossed into the couch. He doesn't. He oh. gets tossed off of the dog, but not into. The is couch. the dog dead? Yes, the dog is dead. Aww. Aww. Well, it's not dead. It's unconscious. It's the monster. Leary and Dog Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. You know? Anything to get a rep in this town. <laughs> dog Slayer. Leary and Dog Slayer. Alright. Uh, the one that was so totally not a fan is not sold at all. <laughs> so called celebrities. Gob Cardo, uh, uh, please run. We will hold them off for you as she kind of moves to the edge of the water and takes her horse chopper, which has some reach, and tries to go ahead and pokeify Lyrianne in the face. That seems reasonable. Pokeify, which is now a verb. And it's a fine verb. Ooh! 
that is a 20 to hit. 20 to hit, all right. Um, That's some sharp ass Pokemon. <laughs> so does Defender win ties? Uh, yes, they have to meet or beat the normal ties. They have to meet or beat the normal ties. The attacker wins. Attacker wins ties, okay. All right, so it hits. Ooh, for seven points of damage. All right. Okay. Um, I'm moving up and cast the heal spell. Thank you. All right. I can take it. Um, all right, seven points of damage. You can take it once. I can take it once. I can take it again. All right, Kyra. I'm moving up and casting the heal spell on their end. Thank you. All right. Um, synergy. Yay. Uh, okay, can I? Yeah, you'd have to touch Lyrian. You'd either have to move into the water, or you have your channel energy, which heals everything within 30 feet of you. But that would be an awful waste. Um, I'll wade into the water. My ropes have already gotten messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a little conga line going on. It's the sewer conga. Yeah. Yeah. Wade in the water. The sewer tunnel would be a really bad idea. Wade in the water. I will call upon the. All singing, all those sorry. I will call upon the power of the sun to heal what ails you. Oh, thank you. It's the all singing, all dancing tour tour. For five points. All right, I'll take it. Thank you. Did you get the plus one on that? Yes. Oh, that's that's so including a plus one is five points. Yes. Thanks. Four. It says I'm good. That's really helpful. This one will five foot step over there and see you. Probably notices me now that I've stuck a shirt. Yeah, there. you know, after you kind of just took a sharp piece of metal and stepped and uh, stuck it into its friend's foot. Yeah. yeah that's it, what one does. Yeah. It, it's. It didn't seem shocked by that. Maybe it's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> But it's still going to try to retaliate by stabbing you with a horse chopper. Ah, you know, this is happening. Yeah, it does. Oh, 11. 11! Maybe if I say it louder, it'll actually <laughs> uh, Mrs. and Gob Cardo, so, so insulted, will reach into the bags that he had on dog, uh, his goblin dog by the name of Dusty. Aww. And pulls out two very large maracas made out of skulls. Big enough to be used as maces. Oh. Mm. That's pretty metal. Yeah. yeah that's pretty metal. <laughs> He's gonna have to run across his own caltrips to get to us. Yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can just like throw the dog body on him. Nah. That's what I do. Not his trusty dog, Dusty. <laughs> it's okay. People who use dog slicers. As yeah, a dog fair dog. enough. There's probably a reason. Poor Dusty. As he, he's Yoda. Sliced up As he jumps. Oh. Because he knows there's caltrops in there. He's yeah. sliced up by Yoda. He's going to jump over the caltrops onto the bridge. And you see him slowly making his way across this bridge. The bridge is like a couple planks, uh, pieces of stone set into the water with like two ropes kind of underneath them. Ooh, ropes, you said. Yes. Oh, Shaker yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As he hops over here, um, Amiri, you will get an attack of opportunity because he is moving out of your threatened square here and is kind of sauntering on over there. Before he dies, I want him to know how much better I am that, than he is at the making of music. And I'm going to try out on him my new song in honor of Leary Ann. They call her the dog killer, Leary Ann. She kills all the dogs in here just because she can. She kills the dogs better than any man. They call her the dog killer, Leary Ann. <laughs> Leary Ann, Leary Ann, this is the note you're listening for. This is Leary Ann. You have no, you have no vibrato of it, Leary Ann. Is that This is. Oh, oh, oh it's Cardo? Cardo? Now I attack him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the note you want, Lily I attack him, I, I think I'm still enraged. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing that I can sing that while enraged. Um, <laughs> we're true no, artists. No, it's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> Only Imperial. Uh, uh, and I, I, guess, I guess I will, for the first time, use my sword. Imperial okay. Star Trooper Marksmanship Academy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 20. Wow! <laughs> Woo. Oh. Natural 20. All right, now roll that again, and if that hits, that is a critical. 13. Uh, yep. 
Yeah, okay. that's that's definitely higher than 14. Can I roll this? Yep, to see where it is. Then it'd be hit. Full body. Mm. All right, right, it, right down the middle. <laughs> so that's a critical hit. Uh, what's your raging damage? It should be like 2d6 plus 9. 2d8 plus 9. Yeah, so that's going to be 48 plus 16 damage. Have a d8. <laughs> that's Four. what happens when you piss off a barbarian. Okay, so you roll all of these and you add 16. <laughs> Uh, 5 plus 4 is 9, 14, 21, and I add what? 16. 37. Sky and Gabbardo. we barely knew the. <laughs> a man of infinite chest. <laughs> no, you need special. both halves of the skull yeah. for that. <laughs> That's in the body, the skull's <laughs> Yeah. So what's the margin of overkill here? <laughs> the margin of overkill is that probably would have taken him down from full to dead twice. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. Good job. I, I'm loyal to my fans, but I don't break competition. <laughs> As God Carter becomes a fine red mist, as he just kind of like you remember how Rayco just kind of disappeared over here when she was stealthing. That just happened to God Carter, but it was on the other team. It's like he's oh, stealthing. Watch out! Watch out! And maybe God Carter's coming. Where'd he go? <laughs> he, there was no blood or anything. <laughs> I think we have smart goblins to kill. <laughs> You can just take Gabcardo off. Yeah, Gabcardo's <laughs> not coming back. There's no healing for Gabcardo. That's, that's, that's going away. Uh, Rico? Uh, well, I, uh, I have Goblin to hit. This is going to be a straightforward hit. that I want to do if the rage is just gone. I mean, you could you just... You feel so much better. Yeah, I just feel... Hey, hey, hey. don't feel that anger anymore. Hey, imagine people riding their bikes in the lanes for the carriages. Oh, but wait, this is the goblin who turned on me, isn't it? Yeah. 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 One of these. Oh, the rage is back. The one yeah. The one yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. yeah, that's, that's the apostate goblin. That's I will seize my barrel <laughs> and dash it upon that goblin's head. <laughs> Five. Ah, uh, no. You can toss the barrel like over here. Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to make a dex check to mm -hmm. yeah. 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 No, I should think the goblin would have jumped. You can if you'd like. If yeah. the goblin didn't leap nimbly over the barrel. Yeah. Yeah. I'd leap nimbly over the barrel. That means you'll have to come and get from here. Eki's no. turn. Eki's going to go ahead and take this opportunity to springboard off of Lirian's head. Seems reasonable. And knock over, kick the cleric in the face. Yeah, I mean, if, if that's what it takes to get over to the other side. A little extra boost. Wee! Oh, wait, no, no. Thirty. Yay! Hey, over there! Flanking! Yay! <laughs> we love <Hi>. flanking. <laughs> High five. Yeah, and Eki will attack and miss awfully. Aww. Too busy. Show me. Let me add. Okay, so, um, what's the range on this wand of Cure Light Wounds? It is touch. Touch, okay. Technically, Kyra wouldn't use it. Oh, oh really? So, wands are activated by people who have that spell on their spells. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was how it worked. Well, give Kyra the wand. Alright. Well, I mean, sure, but later. Um, okay, well, in that case, I won't heal the dog this turn. Um, the dog is dead. No, the dog's unconscious. The dog is unconscious. I take back my song about you. Mm. 
It's up to you. <laughs> Whether you want to be immortalized in song or say. As the dog slayer or the dog healer? Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like a nice dog. Um, all right, well then I'll shoot dog the goblin. Dog healer's still more or less running, right? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. 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 Scans. Goblin. Actually, so the goblin's on the bank, right? Yes. On the river bank. Um, yeah, so it's right next to me. Yeah. Um, I'll try to like cut Fritz legs and top it into the top one into the shit. All right. You're drawing your long sword and just kind of swinging at his legs. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Um, so that's a. Uh, it's only a ten. It definitely hops over the blade as you swing for it. Seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. I expected that. That's good. That's good. That's what I wanted you to think. Wait. One step ahead. Mm -hmm. Or two. Uh, into Look, there's a ninja behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Run. Uh, this one saw the impending disappearance of Gob Cardo happen over here, and Gob Cardo is now like Bigfoot. There. I saw Gob Cardo once. <laughs> Um, now he's gone. Now he's gone. I, no one ever seen him again. And it's going to step back here and get ready for someone to try to get on land. It's going to ready an action for someone to make it stay. Kyra. Um, now that there's nobody defending the bridge, I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to move back one, over one. Well, you can, you can move right through. Uh, oh, yeah, you right can move right through. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> you just can't stand, you can yes. step on your allies, you just can't stand on them. Okay. So I'll elbow my way through your, your <laughs> through her square, and um, then, um, let's see, that's two, so I can move another three, or do I have to be more cautious? You think that you might need to make a reflex save if you go more than uh, half speed. Because uh, it's pretty, the hint. It's pretty close. close. <laughs> Alright. In which case that's half. So one, two, four, six. Get you to about that. I'm awake. And you still have a standard action left. Good thing I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> Alright, as to the standard action, I believe I said I have my sling out. So I'm gonna lob a sling bullet at the one with the uh, waiting on the bank. Mm -hmm. Whip my <laughs> sling around my head and release the bullet. Twenty. Right. Is that a natural twenty? It is. Mm. That's a lot of crits. <laughs> Let's see the sling. Yes. Uh, so it's. Uh, would a twelve be a hit? Uh, that would not. So it's just a regular. Just a regular hit, but it's an awful hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> points for stock. Four points. Four points. Four points for that. Alright, uh, this one over here does not like people in front and back of it, as it says curses and goblins, and Eki's like, ooh, you shouldn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> it steps over there, and since its horse chopper has reached, it's a little too long to be stabbing Reiko, so it drops that, pulls a horse chopper, or dog slicer, sorry. See, all these choppers and slices get confusing. And they will try to poke you with it. Alright. As, as you do. Some of the worst slice. Yeah. Uh, does a... It's two, does a 15 hit you? Uh, yes. Just. My AC is 15. Alright. You are the proud recipient of four points of damage. Ow. Ooh. I didn't like that. <laughs> Well, Reiko, it's your turn to rebut. Oh, I liked it better when I had flanking. All right. Now, you could do what's called ready in your action. So you could move and then ready in action to attack when you have flank again. No, it's OK. I'll just hit it. Okay. We've been, <laughs> been pecking away at this thing for a while. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's pretty be, badly hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so. Away from me. Um, <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, do, 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 21. Yes. D6. Oh, I like this guy. So, six points of damage. Timber. <laughs> yeah. 
Alright, that's just your standard action. Really Did you want to move somewhere afterwards? No, I don't. Yeah. In this life, I do. Did you want to move afterwards? Oh, I suppose I can step up on this guy. It's the good thing about living in a setting as an afterworld, though. Mm -hmm. yes. We've got a lot of time to learn how to appreciate music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mary, it is your turn. I'll stride up out of the water and attack that. Alright, mm -hmm. that's going to trigger its action to poke the first person that comes out of the water. Yeah, that's fine. It's going to try to hook you. Ten! No. no. Ten! Ten! No, it fails. Alright. Uh, I'm going to attack with my sword once more. Uh, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the draft from the passage falls over the goblin. <laughs> yes, you come out of the water with this sword covered in poop. And <laughs> you miss with the swing, but you make a very impressive streak of sewer water along this wall. And you know, just swing for the fences. The cake on shit throws off the balance of the weapon. It's right. just not that I'm streaming with. You're just slicing through the air. <laughs> Alright, it is Eki's turn. We are pretty close to ring around this goblin at this point. She's gonna kind of, since she's small, she'll occupy the space with the barrel. There you go. And she'll try to uh, attack that thing. Natural 20! Oh, 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 it's kind of humbling to realize oh, that. Eki is the protagonist of this story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are actually in a Jim Hines book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that will not confirm. All of Jim's characters, no. <laughs> but she, but she does deal chance. five points of damage as yeah. that one falls down as well. Alright. Can we heal the dog? Heal the dog. Uh, the dog. We have, well, there's plenty of time to heal the dog. The dog was at negative two hit points, and it doesn't die until it's at negative twelve. So you had several rounds to get it. All right. Excellent. Dog the dog is quite confused. Uh, we, uh, uh, I'll borrow the wand. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll give you the wand. I can't use it. Yes, I didn't like the wand. Yeah. Cut the dog. Until it starts moving. Mm -hmm. So should we rummage poke, some? Keep poking it with the wand until it gets a response. Hey, hey, hey! hey, hey. Give, 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 give the dog some of that horse meat that you got earlier. It'll, but, be, your but, but it's It'll be your friend. It'll be your friend. It'll be your friend. Share, be share with your friends. I don't. Dog be your subcontractor. What's that? <laughs> Somebody that you pay to do stuff for you. But why should I pay? Because, because you it'll don't. Do stuff for you. It'll do stuff for you. But why can't I just do stuff for me? There you do you... stuff for somebody who didn't pay you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no is the answer. <laughs> okay. So. Well, it could be motivated by fear. Yeah. But, but that's a dog. Yeah. It's Dr. Very smart. Dog. You're a goblin, you ride dogs, right? You're his amount. That's only a goblin dog. We hate all other dogs. That's why we made these special. Well, good. So here's your status, high status goblin. Yeah, yeah you're, you're a knight now. <laughs> wait, wait, am I, is, am I a gig or am I a knight or am I a gag now? No, no, no. A gig is not something you are, a gig is something you do. A knight is something that you are. Yes. A gig is something that you have. Yes. A gag is something that we are. If you have a mouth, <laughs> if you have a mouth you're a chevalier. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> In this case, would it be a, 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 a chevalier? Yes, chevalier. Yeah. 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 Get up, get on the dog. Get on the dog. It'll be great. It'll be great. Give the dog Look, back. the dog likes you. If you don't want to give the, the dog... The dog is sitting there like, you know what? <laughs> Why are you putting this goblin on? <laughs> I, I'm gonna give the dog some of my beef jerky. Okay, yeah. Iron rations for the dog. There you go. <laughs> Wanna be friends? Yeah, yeah. Your dog has some friends. Has some iron rations. It's almost like food. <laughs> Only not. Yeah. It comes in really handy if you run into a giant slug, though. That's true. <laughs> Trader Joe's. There was, there, was one, the now, there was one game I was in in college where we killed more things with our iron rations. Mm. There were giant slugs and ant lions, and I don't remember what all. I can remember endless arguments back in the late 1970s, first edition DD, over whether iron rations were food or whether it was iron supplements. <laughs> <laughs> It's pemmican, okay? Right. It's pemmican. Right. It's, it's happening. It's like Geritol, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it's like Geritol. <laughs> those, those stories of, you know, beginning D&D. &D. So I saw this, how are you feeding 
your horses as you're on this week-long journey. Oh, we found this great food in the uh, in the equipment handbook. It's called mead. We've been feeding it that for our horses that for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what mead is? No, but it was really cheap. Of course, you should drink it. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> So what makes you need the horses to go on a yeah, fairy trip? If Eddie doesn't want the dog, I will adopt the dog. It can be my ninja dog. I'll get it some pajamas. It'll be awesome. <laughs> get it little ninja slippers. Yeah. yeah. Dog ninja slippers. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Dogs will really I heard that annoying singing stop. Go ahead and make yourself known. You can hear echoing throughout the cabin. Uh, do, we, do, do we search these goblins? Do they have any yeah, goblins? Yeah. I'm going to take this dog home. I'm going to enter it into the ugliest dog contest, and I'm going to be a millionaire. That's right. <laughs> You're going to put it on the internet, which doesn't yep. exist yet. <laughs> I'll invent it. In very small boxes. <laughs> you see a wand floating on Gopkara's body. Mm. Oh, okay. You can use that. Here, uh, catch some more wands. His obliterated body. Yeah. <laughs> Where it disappeared, it's like a video game. It disappeared and treasure appeared. Right. Like, it's like, it's like Scott Pilgrim we're in now. If I could have a like, shot of that healing wand. Wait, what did, that, what did the voice yeah, say about us? They said the annoying singing stopped. Oh, the annoying singing? Uh, yeah, it's not your singing, it's the other guy's singing. Each of you gets a tap from I, 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 CLW. Which is what, DA? Charge around the corner. And de while charging, I demand oh, wow. to know which thing you'll... This isn't a healing wand. This is a whole person. Yes, <laughs> you're the only magic user in the group. I, I don't think I can use magic. No. Yes, you can. It's the whole person is a person. The GM says you can. Yeah. Just go for it. All right, well, anyway. I'm charging around that corner demanding to know what singing was in I'm going to charge after her. It wasn't talking about your singing. It really wasn't. And nothing that loud could right. possibly dislike your singing. So, Max, I'm going to bring two charges on you. Thank you. Three and eight. Actually, I, I only need one charge. Just two. Yes, but the first one was just three. Oh, no, but three is enough. Oh, three okay. actually gets me out of fault. So one is a fear. And I, I rolled for myself. I got. Yeah. How many charges did you burn? I burned two, um, so we're at 20 now, I think. No, I have a Alright. Oh, yeah, I'm off of the dogs so for 19. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm re stealthing. Eh, not very well. So Brian's it's that squishy the charge. boot. Yeah, it's that one <laughs> squishy foot <laughs> squish. that's landed squish. in the sewer that's just giving you away. Sneak, Brian's squish, leading the charge sneak, around the squish, corner. Squish, squish. I'm following him desperately, trying to convince him not to stab whatever this is. Oh God, please don't! I'm, I'm sneaking. The Let's first. talk to it first. Team. Maybe it wants to buy weapons. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thirteen sneak. Play. I need to make at least some yeah, commission off of this deal. I haven't said I'm going to kill it. I'm going to find out what it thinks of my singing. I'm just saying that it probably <laughs> likes your singing. <gasps> well, we can hope. Be receptive. I'm receptive. I'm very receptive. <laughs> To positive feedback. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's to... vacuously true so far. <laughs> All of the positive feedback you have received, you've been very receptive. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bless our, our party. All right. right. Invoke the sun's blessing in this battle with this uh, uh, terrifying foe. Okay. Thank you. Yay, we're blessed. So, it could, be a fan. It could be a fan. It could be a fan. It could be a fan. Um, as you rush around the corner, you see that there are several goblins helping a very large creature. Ah, that's the fan. <laughs> it's got the fan in its hand. Load up piles of shimmering coins into a sack. Seems to be trying to make its quick egress from this place, as they seem to have been found out. By whom, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just recycle these goblins over Yeah, there. you know, one goblin is very much like a Fungible one. goblins. <laughs> Every goblin is different there. <laughs> they all look the same. <laughs> 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 Except for you. I mean. The jar's going to have to <laughs> I call out oh, into the room. Yeah. Any fans here? <laughs> Any fans? File <laughs> on. As, Say yes! As there's a I goblin. Deserve it. As there's a goblin with like a perm who's like, oh no, we can't have that sort of discrimination against our goblins here. <laughs> Did someone call Goblin Shopton? <laughs> oh. You said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'll be over here next to the box. 
lost. I'm gonna have the X card at this point. <laughs> I want. I just want to know if there's any fans in the room. Yeah. Anyone? Any, anyone a fan? Uh, Amiri, the Bardbarian. Oh, no. No. You've been sitting on that one this entire <laughs> night. <laughs> Setting it up and I'm not finishing. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? No. You should. You should perform. If yeah, you, you should perform. If you want to live, say yes. We don't know what happened to the other one that said no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to point out. He may the still be alive. <laughs> that the unbranded uh, orange powder covered objects are already stale. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah. Sitting on the table for two hours, and they are things of beauty and joys disgusting. <laughs> Choice for less than two hours. Um, I've concluded there are no fans in the room. No, you didn't give them a chance. Okay, you four. Four. How can I be a fan? Generic sandwich you don't have sandwich. any hair all over Actually, you. Actually, it's a generic sandwich. I, I would appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, but we're talking about artistry and we're all down on here, not <laughs> physical appearance. <laughs> we, we also have the generic salt and vinegar chips. Mm. Over there you have to sell an image. Kids like image. Like me, who has hair in all the right places. I.e. everywhere. <laughs> Are you a musician? And all the wrong places, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, and there's another musician. Do you want to form a band? I won't be a backup singer. Uh, what's a band? Never mind. <laughs> we, we can salvage that. No, it's, it's like a music out. gang. Yeah. I've been trying and trying. I tried with those goblins. I tried with those goblins. I tried with Goncardo. No one down here appreciates my music. I'm done. You're done. Maybe, maybe you suck. Oh. <laughs> And that just reinvigorated my rage. <laughs> and let's go <laughs> So what is this critter? Can you describe the large critter? It looks very Not much like this. It is a large brown critter holding a very large mace. I am it, it back is... at the dwarvish top of the round. <laughs> All right. You can see from the, hey, hey. From the armor. It's a good thing I'm in the back, because mm -hmm. otherwise everybody would be stuck behind me. And it is probably a female. And, uh... She is. This the might be the big, big boss lady. The yeah. uh, big boss lady. I rolled a twenty for what that's worth. Does that get you total for? That gets me twenty-one. Very nice. Nine. I need to get some. I got a really high dex bonus. Bonus. Yeah, what'd you get? Uh, twenty-three. You go, girl. Yeah. Oh. I'm rocking. Uh, nine. Sensing that there was a big booming voice coming from the room beyond, that Kyra has intoned the blessings of Saren Rain to guide all of you, giving you a plus one bonus on your attacks for a minute, which is ten rounds of combat. Right. So don't forget to take that into account as you're shooting, throwing crates or barrels or other things at people. And that's a morale bonus, so it stacks with things that are not also morale bonuses. Alright. So, Larianne. You see, you hear the conversation and you see Amiri start fuming at the maybe you suck comment. And right. you're like, oh, here it goes. <laughs> as much as I want to delay just to I've see I've heard what this happens. song before. <laughs> Actually, no, I think the appropriate thing for me to do now is delay until after Amiri goes. Alright. Amiri, what would you like to do? Uh, I, I am all over getting to the large 
creature at the end. I, I'm ignoring all these other goblins in the way. They, they might as well be barrels and crates to me. So, so I, was, I was chasing after Mary to like try to catch up with her and encourage her not to do the thing that she's doing right now, but I'm not trying to stop her from it anyway. <laughs> You could stand on top of that pile of gold. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh, I think that's just, uh, that's just in production. We can, Good. yeah, there we go. Perfect. And, and can I also attack while I'm here? Uh, that would have to be a double move to get you there. So you okay. wouldn't be able to attack this one. Okay, that's okay. I'm in position. There is, there is a large bottle of totally non-branded. Totally non-branded <laughs> neon green substance. <laughs> Traditional gaming yeah, caffeination. <laughs> Non-branded neon green substance, anyone? All right, so Mary has moved in, ignoring all other goblins in the way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, I have to drive home. Um, a likely story. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Brian? No. I need the hydration. Oh, good. Okay. This Are you sure? Like it's, it's nothing like hydration. <laughs> it's precisely zero like hydration. It's hydration as. It's, it's hydration as. It's hydration as. Alright. You are up. You saw Mary charge all the way across the battlefield to confront her harshest critic yet. Alright, did you actually attack the thing? No, I was not able. Okay. Was that a double move or was it a legit charge? I don't know. Okay. All right, so that's so I'm taking yeah, a, I'm taking a minus, minus two to hit the knoll from this point or whatever it is. It seems to be a bugbear. Bugbear. All right, so I'm taking. It is a bugbear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking a minus two to hit the bugbear from this distance. Yes. Can I move close enough to hit it? From well, it's a Mary's worst bugbear, a music critic. Yeah, exactly. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, so I'm going to... Oh, 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 I got it. Oh, so there's a goblin in the way. Yeah, there's a goblin right here. All right, well, I have this, I have this uh, D, dead eye, which will let me resolve an attack against touch AC against nor instead of normal AC. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that in the bugbear. All right. And see what happens. Up a good shot. Yeah. Bang. Let's see how that goes. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the kind of burn. All right. Nineteen. <laughs> so from about na, 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 na. so uh, na, 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 na. from about sixty feet away, <laughs> <laughs> you know things start to get slow motion <laughs> as Lyrian gracefully strides out into the hallway, twirls a gun. You see a dove take off from the. <laughs> <laughs> Another pistol appears in her other hand. I actually get She back. is suddenly being played by Val Kilmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for it. <laughs> All right, that confirms. All, All right, I need, I need some D8s here. Well, that's better than average. <laughs> <laughs> I love everybody in this bar. Uh, 21. Do you add one to each one or just for the total? Yeah, that's a good question. The blessing, does that apply to damage also? It doesn't apply to the damage. It doesn't apply to damage. Okay, and I don't think this gives me any damage bonus, so yeah, so that's 21 in the Face. right arm. <laughs> Left foot. Well, that happens to be the right arm. Haha, <laughs> uh, you, you're just, oh, 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 I was using that. <laughs> Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, no, no. I'm about to get bum rushed by goblins here, so help would be appreciated. <laughs> I'm on it. All right, thank you. Well, you are quite the diviner, as one goblin rushes up to you with its little dog slicer. Uh, You'll never take out Big Boss Lady! So there. Want to bet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Odds are running with 16 to 3 in Seven. our favor currently. Swing and a miss! Seven! Swing and a miss! <laughs> you know that thing like 
when you're eight and you're playing wiffle ball and mm -hmm. things on the little stand and you got the great big plastic oh, bag. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep. And the ball's still there. <laughs> yep. Just like that. That was how I played wiffle ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody played wiffle ball. Yeah. That, that, that hurt. That hurt really bad. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I haven't done anything. That's a big cross the room. You can take credit. No, no, that's no, not like me. Uh, you know, somebody does something good, whether it's a, a great piece of music or a great piece of sharpshooting, and I like to give the credit where it's due. Mm. And if it's a great piece of music and it's not you, then you kill them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I give them credit. Sorry, Max. That's okay. So in later, later, years, you can, in later years, you can do covers. Of like, really good this is a song by a bugbear bear who I murdered. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Piece Gob Cardo used to do before I turned him into a red mist. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a thick and chunky red mist, not a fine red mist. That's right. Ow, 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 ow. She calls back and points to the fences and swings for the fences. Mm. <laughs> it's a 16 hit. 16. Um, you 15 have, armor class. You have the plus one amulet and yep. just the blessing effect out of all. Now that's only attacks. Blessings for attacks and morale chains. So I have a 16 armor class, I think. Yes. So the entire goes to the attacker in this case. All right. <clears throat> so that will hit you for 10 points of damage. Oh! Ooh. Ow. Where's my, how many hit points do I have? You have 15 hit points. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, we gotta oh, get no, the cleric no. up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Clerics. It'll, yeah, it'll be us eventually. Eventually. Dwarvish top right. time. Um, hostility! Hostility! That's right. Excellent. I don't know what to do after I yell hostility. Stab him. Okay. <laughs> like this? Yes. Basically. Exactly like that. Cool, I get it! <laughs> this one over here is... Hmm. Hmm. This one's going to uh, protect the lady. And he's going to try to horse chop you in the behind. Alright. Ooh, that's Ow. going to hit with a 20 armor class. Four, six points of damage. Oh, I am now at negative one. You can drink a healing potion. Can you drink a healing potion as a reaction in this one? Yeah. Okay. All right, cleric fun time coming up. Yep. Thud. <laughs> It's going to try to horse chop Eki as well. Because horse chopping seems to be going quite well today. Horse chopping business is good. As it hits Eki for five points of damage. And Eki seems to be. Yeah, okay. Reiko, you are up. Alright. I got a lot of ground to cover here. Maybe entangle some of the guys? Um, I'm actually... Oop, sorry. Ow. Come back. You kicked me in the head. <laughs> Six. I'm actually going to have to take a full move. Seven, eight, nine. Which one is Eki? White hat. Okay. So that would provoke an attack opportunity oh, okay. this one. Where can I get So I mean, if you go here and go the long way around, you could get to here. Oh. Right. You'd have a bit of space between you. Yeah. All right, Tyra. All right, I'm going to try to, yeah, do Although I am <laughs> theoretically stealthed, although badly. Uh-huh. They don't see me. <laughs> I'm just going to barrel forward and do a double move here. Someone is down. Oh, my stealth is a whole 13. That might be good six, enough for a goblin. Six gets you to there. All right. That one sees you. Um, 
That one doesn't. That one does. Well, I'm not invisible anymore. No, she is stuck. This one sees you, and big lady over there sees you as well. Right. So this, this one is back is to me. This one's completely oblivious. Okay, okay, so that takes. If I do a f double move and do nothing else, this is on our side, right? Mm-hmm. You can get behind me with a six and have. Yeah. Yeah, but can you get line of sight? Um, well, it doesn't matter if it's a touch. Huh? No, the wand isn't. Yeah, it is. The wand is touch as well. Oh, is it? Okay. But she does have a channel to get within 30 feet, so like, if you were to double move to, say, here, yeah. you could channel. Oh, that's right, I can move through, through her. That's right. Yeah, you can move through your eyes. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's cut Just try not to die. I'll, I'll do. I'll do my very best. <laughs> this one's going to try. I haven't to... even composed my funeral. Yet, so. <laughs> He's going to try to dog slice at Eki, and succeed at dog slicing for four more points of damage. Medic, medic. Uh, is that you, Miss Too Many Clothes Lady? Amiri, you are currently at what? Negative one. Negative one. All right, you'll have to roll to stabilize. Otherwise, you will begin to bleed out. What do I roll this? You will roll, a, yep, that d20, and add your constitution bonus. What you're trying to beat is an 11. Yes. She was enraged, wasn't she? Yes. Yes. Doesn't that give her a bonus to um, save us like that? Well, once you go on constitution, you drop out of rage. So. 7 plus 4 is 21. 7 plus 14, sorry, is 21. Why, why yes. Right. So you are stable and no longer at risk of bleeding out unless you take more damage or some other effect that you bleeding out again. So you have plenty of time to await healing, and there's no risk of you dying. Again. I'm not dead. No, you're not dead. You're just unconscious. Okay. Let me end. Okay. So can I five foot step around that goblin? To like here? Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. And then. Um, yeah, I guess I just need to deal with that so much. Yeah, I? you're kind of putting yourself in flanking. Yeah, never mind. I'm not going to five foot step. I'm just going to first attack and end move. No. No? Oh, so oh, you can shit. attack okay. and then if it's down, move afterwards. Okay, great. Yeah, so I'll attack it with my. Um, uh, can I attack with pistol in melee range? Does that it, it would attack with attack range. Okay. Okay. okay, I'll stab it with the long sword. All right. Good try to make it. No, 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 chips. They're even more just like the before. <laughs> All right, like now that's at 10. Doesn't do anything. That one will not hit. All right. Uh, this one. This one's going to go ahead and provoke from you since you have your long sword out. It's going to move away from you and try to get to a flank with Eki. Okay. Against Eki. Well. So I get to take an attack opportunity as it's retreating, right? Mm-hmm. No, ten again. Die. You suck. Yeah, well. As it tries to stab Eki. And does so. Poor Eki. And Eki's teetering with one hit point. Uh, that was in one. <laughs> she un ever so ungracefully steps over Amiri and uh, what's she been doing? She steps over here and she tries to intimidate you. And she gives you that I'm gonna eat you stare. She's going to make an intimidation roll against you. Oh, there's not. What you going to do? Will save? <laughs> it is not a save. Uh, what she needs to beat, it's kind of like a static number based on the character. Um, she needs to beat, and you can calculate this, 10 plus your character level, which is 1, plus your wisdom modifier. Which is 3. So right. she needs a 14. She has a plus 6. So she needs an eight or higher to intimidate you. She gets a nine. So you are shaken for one round. You'll have a minus two on all your, pretty much all your D20 rolls. Attack rolls, rolls saves, um, skill checks, that sort of thing, as you are shaken. But it will be gone on her next round. 
It is Eki's turn. Ow, help lady, help, 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 help pajama lady, help! Ooh, I can stab this one. Yes. And she hits for four points of damage. Make, make hurting go there, pajama lady! Yay! Is it me yet? No. no. It's a ways, a ways to go. Um, this one's gonna try to stabify... Actually, this one's gonna go and move into a good position over here. Does that provoke an attack of opportunity? Uh, from you, yes. I will take the opportunity to attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. From me as well, or just... Um, so it's moving out of your threatened area, so right now it moved in. But it's yeah. gonna keep moving to okay. get to a better spot. So then it's gonna provoke right now. Okay. Fourteen. Bingo. Right on the deck. Four. Oh. Oh. Oh my. All right. It's gonna stop there. <laughs> it did not like being stopped at all. So stop it, please. Thank you. Oh wow, Rico, it's your turn. Okay, I'm five foot stepping over here. Mm -hmm. And taking a swipe at this guy. All right. And probably not hitting. Oh wait, yes I am. Oh, that's where it goes. Yes, what, are, what are the I, odds? I, I'm, I'm calling this a critical. What yeah, are the odds? You know, right as Reiko swings, she hits this pillar over here, and it just kind of uh, knocks the foundation loose, and it kind of goes hurtling towards this here goblin. Oh. I'm too busy to deal with goblins right now. Structural insecurity. <laughs> Does, that kind of happens in dilapidated sewers, mm -hmm. folks. It, it happens, it happens. Uh, so at this point, do I still have my move? Um, no, because you're five foot. Okay. Yes, you're right. I did. Squash! I'm still kind of alive under here. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> uh, so that was Rico Kai. All right, I'm going to duck around behind this pillar. Care if I moved into the, this one's attack of opportunity? Um, that's just a goblin holding all the bags on its okay. back, and it doesn't really have a weapon, and it's hoping that people don't quite notice it. So it's just kind of sitting there, like to. I'm a non-combatant. I'm going to um, use one of my spell slots to cast Cure Light on. Maybe that one likes music. It's possible. That could be the fan right there. Yeah. <laughs> It isn't attacking you, or anyone, yep. yep. holding a lot of money. It's good to have rich fans. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to burn the stabilize spell to heal, to heal her. Well, you could just walk over there and use the wand and keep stabilized, too. No, oh, all right. I'll tap her with the hit save, wand. Save the wand for later in the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Resource management. <laughs> all right, so you get back five. Does that bring you into positive? It damage? does. I now have four hit points. Yay! I lurched my feet singing. <laughs> <laughs> the world is alive with the sound of slaughter. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Are you sure you shouldn't have just let her stay down? <laughs> I hear you, Eki. <laughs> it wasn't a critical hit to the vocal cords. <laughs> Uh, this one sees an open gunslinger, and she's going to try to dog slice you. Alright. Does an eight hit you? Swing and a miss! <laughs> well, okay, maybe an eight doesn't hit you, but does a seven hit you then? No. <laughs> I'm not very good at hacking. <laughs> dog slicing, not so much your thing. Yeah, no. All right, well, we're at the top of the round. Right, Amiri, you are now conscious. I'm going after the bugbear. Hey, you want me to move you? Yes, please. Are you going to re-enrage? Because once you go unconscious, you drop out of that rage. Mm. Do you want to be here or here? Um, I'm not enraged. I want to be wherever you think is best. Well, if you're here, then you have the pillars at your back. Cool. The pillar at your back. Cool. 
Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not enraged again. I'm, I've dropped out of the range. Right. I'm just normal. You're, you're now yep. careful consideration about what you do with yep. your actions. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven. Plus. Eleven. Plus something. Three. Plus three. Yep. Plus the one. Plus one. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, audience. So D eight. Two D eight. Plus six. Eight plus five. Thirteen. Nineteen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was kind of unkind. <laughs> That's totally climactic. Wakes up, chops yeah. it's very climactic. Now we've got all these goblins. Kyra's like, now it's the time for the finale. Oh, the encore? <laughs> <laughs> Number. <laughs> you can't knock go to him dead. <laughs> Get up there, kid, and knock him dead. Break a leg. There's. <laughs> All right, that was Amiri Lirian. All right, I'm gonna five foot step back from this goblin and shoot it in the face. Well then, go ahead and make that happen. All right, well, I'll see what I can do. No, <laughs> miss. Add it up. It's a touch attack. Oh, um, okay. Uh, ten. Is that included in the plan? That is including the plush. Oh, well, just barely. Yeah. Just barely. It's hard being you. It is. I know. I know. I've it's just been tough. soaking up a lot of goblin attacks this <laughs> round. <laughs> Alright, so Mary's back in the Dex tank. He. <laughs> 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 this one takes the only open spot and leaving this, oh, this goblin over here alone and. and misses you. Ha -ha. Hey! Um, she's gonna try not to die. She's not dead. Wow. After a gunshot and an axe. Oh, well, never mind. Two. She's, she's getting there. <laughs> she's, as you see, the arterial spray. She's about to shoot across this empty hall. She's a really big fan. <laughs> Damn it. Her last words are, it is like the sound of the wind. <laughs> <laughs> um, as they walk in the fields of gold. Eki's going to move over here and stab this thing. Yes. Shit. All right. Stab a lot. Well then, for three points, Just and that one goes down. I did it! Yeah. I did it! I did it! All right, you next. Stop singing. <laughs> Eki, do you mean you're not a fan? Oh, I've never been a fan. I just have these panties on my head as a lie. Rage activated. <laughs> <laughs> How about that whole person spell? <laughs> M3 is down. M4. Now, which is the one that I'm actually stealthed to? Um, that's this one that is not. The dead one. one. Okay. <laughs> I see dead people, but they can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that leaves M4. Uh, M4 is going to try to attack things. He's going to move on over here. And he's going to try to stabify you. Is he close enough to stabify me? He has he's his horse chop. Oh, right. He's got his, his long weapon. Mm. Does a 16 hit? Yes, it does. As he will deal six points. Ouch. Ooh. Yeah, I was... How are you looking over there, Miss Pajamas? I got two points. Ooh. I see I have more work. <laughs> 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 What happens when you bring a rogue into a stand-up fight? We get right, well, you are up. All right. Well, I will stand fine right back. But, I mean, the smart thing to do would be to tumble out of here. And I should be able to tumble out of here. Well, remember, it has reach, so it can't hit anything close to it. So you could step in. I could. But uh, I can I also use acrobatics to get away and go stab this guy in the back? You could. That seems like a more more reasonable use of my time. Well, you also do have a flank here against this guy, because Eki's here. Oh. True. All right. I will step in and stab five. All right. Yeah, I'm doing okay. You're doing now. okay over there? Yeah, right. until the goblin crits me next round, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 17. That'll hit. And that's a sneak attack. And it's a sneak attack, so I get my extra D6. Six points. What's the last thing you go for that goblin? A sword. <laughs> 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 
Seems about right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seems about right. You know the joke about what's the last thing to go through a bug's mind when it hits the windshield, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> we are now three hours and 40 minutes into the river. <laughs> All right. Uh, at they this probably point, want us to, to finish killing these guys and sign some books at some point. Yeah, at this point, the other ones have firmly reassessed their life choices and choice of fandom. <laughs> kill, kill so they will go ahead and drop their weapons and. Uh, Become fans? Get signed. <laughs> yeah, they, they all sign up for the newsletter. <laughs> yeah. okay. They can't read. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. <laughs> sure, I'm a fan. Just come to his first, your first gig. I have, a, I have a living friend who likes you. <laughs> sure. All right. Guess we shovel the treasure into sacks. And... Shovel the treasure into sacks. And among the treasure, you find... Quite a bit interesting. There are several other things quite similar to your Wayfinder. There's a gold badge of the Aspis Consortium. There is a bandolier of the Shield Marshals, that uh, organization from Alkenstar that you might like to join. It seems like these people have been gathering the symbols of several different organizations to essentially frame each other for the thefts and uh, sabotage that this group of goblins are going to try to do across the city. And essentially, Eki obtaining a Wayfinder was probably their way of getting a way to implicate the Pathfinder Society for their misgivings. So now what you're saying is we can impersonate all of these people. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that is exactly what he's saying, yes. Uh, expose the plot. Impersonate all of these people. I believe what he's saying is that we can now impersonate all of these groups. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Where is that disguise kit? Yeah. Right here. Big old mustache. Right here on my list. Fuck me, I must ask you a question. <laughs> Sorry, it's that time of night. And, and now, with the sewers cleared, fans obtained. Fans, a fan, two fans. Two, 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 living two fans. fans. Two fans. Two true fans. <laughs> devoted, <laughs> devoted fans. Yes. Yep. What would you like to do with the the lonely Eki? She came here to join up with somebody, but you know you could make her the boss of a now empty group. But she'd be the boss. I think Eki's totally the boss. I think. Mm. Yeah, she's the boss of our group. Yeah. She's, <laughs> Eki and I still have our issues to work through, but that's not going to happen. Tonight. <laughs> yeah. She revealed her true colors, but that's for the organization. Time. We can. I'm going to simmer. We can mediate it. I'm going to simmer. <laughs> Mediation. <laughs> we can work it with the hand puppets. Okay. <laughs> Tell the hand puppet yeah. the thing that yeah. you want to say. Exactly. Okay. But no talking unless you have a little koosh ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So we need All some right. teddy bear to hug. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Actually, I think what we, what we need to get a mirror is like one of those dog toys that gronks. <laughs> we do have the dog. Yeah. It might gronk if you hug it. It probably does. Are you sure you don't want a goblin dog? I don't know. No, I don't. I think it would be a, a, like a great, you know, everybody loves an actor with a dog. But now I got fans. I've moved up. <laughs> we can put it. We can put Eki in charge of the fan club. Never work no, with goblins or animals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with the treasure recovered and an end to this whole thing, Sheila Hydemart will give you that uh, breakfast that you are kind of. But only if we want. I think we need first. to shower. Yeah, yeah, you have to shower yeah. first this time. <laughs> So, and do some laundry. But, yeah, basically, she told you to go wash your hands for breakfast. Three hours later, you come back covered in poop. And <laughs> she has to go over basic hygiene. <laughs> I would just like to point out that I am the only person in the party with less than 90% poop coverage. That's <laughs> solid. That's true. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's my victory. That's all the pajamas. Yeah. One foot. I didn't successfully sell. 
a single gun. Mm. This well, entire but you did deliver several bullets. Exactly. And we're working, and we're working on your jingle. We're working on the jingle, well, and just I, I, I gave out a lot of free samples. <laughs> yes. you want to the bugbear seemed very persuaded <laughs> <laughs> until you killed him. Right. Well, that's a good reason to leave some of these goblins alive. Yeah, that's right. They can spread, spread our legend. Testify the. Uh, the efficacy. They can spread our legend. They can also, you know, your unconquered son came in very handy. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, just, we'll call this a win for Spain. Yeah. We've all had several <laughs> victories today, and she was planning a, uh, another victory, as later she will use that badge, as you probably saw, that gold and Aspis consortium badge, mm -hmm. to kind of follow up on that reconnaissance work you did earlier this morning. <laughs> Let's see if we can get somebody in on the inside, but that is an adventure for another day. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you, All right. Nobody died. Nobody died. <laughs> Many people died. 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 And to our fine authors. I never even had a chance to make an obscure lobby irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there might have to be a dance-off at some point, but...